Vino chofo Tomando chelas Chingando tacos Having some fun Chicano chofo All kinds of masa Bernie's all nervous Give them a beer Or two Chicano chofo Este es el lazo Just lost a fan Oh what the shit Oh shit Chicano chofo Ramon's el guapo He tells good stories Let's interrupt We will Chicano chofo We love our fans We hope you like this If not oh well Dale steps Batería, tenemos a Don Filemón. En el Tololache, o the stand-up bass, we got El Uña. En producción, El Banquita Sarabia. Y el maestro de la orquesta en lead guitar, Steps. Y su servidor en voz, Ramón. Keep talking shit about the audience. <laughs> We are the Homes Depot Band. Here for all your party needs. And your gatherings And your social events So si estás de preo que la chingada There you go Aquí pa' estamos We'll fucking liven things up Or make them worse Don't forget to send us a DM Fucking let us know your pics And we'll take it from there, right? Vean que es en vivo, güey. ¿Eh? <risa> <risa> Llegó medio brava la producción ahora, güey. No, yeah, no, hecklers. No, güey. Some hecklers. Sí, sí. Making demands acá, güey. We have some digital hecklers. Porque <risa> <risa> todos... Que ya con sus demands, güey. I think I hit a nerve, bro. Why? When I told them, hey, the audience better be ready this time. Fuck, oh, man. There's no nerves, boy. It's just fucking... Uh, like, oh, yeah, cabrón. It's fucking your audience is always here. Aquí tengo tu audience, cabrón. Pero esto es que la cagó la producción. Fucking... You give me the crickets before. Wow. How's that cagada, güey? That wasn't... A, it just came in too earlier than expected. Uh, well, I think <laughs> Finger slipped, as always. <laughs> He was waiting for it, too. <laughs> He was like, fuck it, it's it's ya le, 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 le picaba la ch... Ya le daba cosquillas esa madre. Eso, a, a, me avancé, güey. He sounds like the cop that said, I was going for my taser, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I thought I hit... <laughs> wow, <laughs> hey, bro, I've heard that excuse, man. <laughs> wow. Hey, I thought it was the audience, bro. I didn't realize it was a cricket noise. <laughs> There goes our listener. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a cricket noise. <laughs> <clears throat> We got a listener vacancy. <laughs> listener vacancy. <laughs> ah, so que andas, cabrones? Nobody listens to this shit, bro. I know. Uh, you know, we just, just... We try. Hopefully somebody listens to it, right? Yeah. I just enjoy getting, you know, 
meeting up, fucking talking shit. You like your ego to get boosted. Right? We talked about this last episode. <laughs> the last like, episode today. Uh, wait, or, or fucking, hey, what, the uh, audience is ready or what? Prior, prior to the <laughs> last episode, I was like, hey, bro, we need a live event. Where I need my fucking, I need people to tell me I'm the shit. I forgot how it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> and I supported and I'm like, that. Fuck yeah, bro. I'm, I'm down for that. <laughs> I, I supported like, that. I'm, like, I'm just kidding. Where you fell for it. <laughs> you fell for it. <laughs> I don't know. Baited and trapped. I don't know. Hey. I mean, that sounded too fucking, I'm fucking legit. I'm humble, bro. I'm a humble guy. Wait. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wait, what? Wait. Why do you do this? What do you like? What do I, what do I talk on the podcast? I don't know why I do no, this, bro. What do you I do have this? no idea. Like, before fuck we're it. recording, you I want to have a party, you know, a big party. <laughs> I'm not sure why I do this podcast, bro. No, wait. We talk, and then you're like, fuck yeah. yeah let's do it. And then we start it, and you change it up, wait. What? Yeah. <laughs> wow, what That's is he a cool, cool story, bro. I know what is he accusing you of. Cool know. story. Okay. Right. I, love, I love that ending, way. Fuck, I, I like I'll back you up. Like, hey, I need to. Like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And then Arato, you fucking throw me under the bus. What did I? How did I throw you in the like, bus? Like, oh, you need your ego boosted. I was just fucking with you, uh, No, no, I'm not. I'm not fucking. I don't think you were. Wait, who's, no? who's, who's fucking? I'm kind of confused right now. Dude. It's too early for this shit. <laughs> we're like two minutes in. Wait, wait. Wait, wait you fill me in. Wait, what's going on? What did I miss? <laughs> you should get a little aggressive today. Wait, what'd you eat? Wait, what'd you have from fucking? I got here a little late. Are you upset about that? No, no, no. Because we were running late too. I fucking woke up late. I I, I turned off the alarm instead of snoozing it. Mm. Or, or I thought I, I, no sé cómo estuvo el pedo, that I just turned it off. I heard it right away and I turned it off and fucking good night. And then the, the Mija woke me up. She's like, Hey um, aren't you recording to them? I'm like, Yeah, yeah. what time do you what time do you gotta be out of the house by? I'm like, ah, seven forty five. She's like, It's already seven twenty one. Like, no mama fucking I mean, yes, is an uncle. Yeah, me metí a bañar, but I was telling Fernie que you know that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's a I don't valid know what question. Your, <laughs> I don't know what your morning routine is like, but uh, you know, I wake up. I like to take a morning masa. But uh -huh. yeah. the the one that like no no acabas. Oh, wow. <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, like acabas, and then you're like, okay, I'm done. But then you feel like oh, fuck, there's still more. <laughs> there's still more in there. Like fuck, and then you're like trying to like, all right, come on. Adelie, let's get out of here. Forget eating fucking spicy food before. Yeah. That shit fucking hurts. On yeah, the that's, island. yeah, that's, I think that's what it got me. I was telling Freddie, like, you're eating some salsita last yeah, night? Yeah, we ate some fucking salsita and fucking como que. <laughs> Every step was. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that sucks, right? And, just, and it's just you want to get up and you're yeah, like, oh no. Nah, fuck, oh, there's more. Yeah, you know, it's like, son of a bitch. No. Entonces, yeah, once I'm like, all right, fuck it. Le corto. Yeah, me metí, me bañé, fucking I got dressed. It's <laughs> el pinche cafecito. And um, I was out of the house by 8 <laughs> 820, I think it was. Mm. No. <laughs> you woke yeah. up at, they're telling you it was 821 way. No, <laughs> I, oh, no. Uh, 721. I think oh, it was like eight feet. I don't know when I texted Fernie, I'm like, hey wait, I'm on my way. Fucking I disculpa, fucking my bad. You and then know? The, the stomach doesn't appreciate fucking being in a rush, right? No, if you, you leave shit inside your intestines, way, and you walk out fucking rushing. If it's like, it, t it takes a while for your stomach to, to take it as a loss, way. Because it's like, like wait, wait, okay, come well, on, dude. Hey, hey, los enfrente ya pasaron. Yeah, what the fuck? I want access too, way. I'm tired of being in this fucking. Like, I'm tired it's of like being. It's like when the, when the ride breaks down at Disneyland, yeah. way, And you're uh, in line, like, do we wait? Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're fucking upset, way. They're waiting fucking right in the gateway. I was next. I was next. No, no pero yo seguía. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of being in este cabrón's intestines, güey. Eso también es como el equivalente del güey que está enfrente de ti. The light turns green and he's on his fucking phone. Like, hey, shh. Yeah, when they move, fucking you get the red. Do you honk right away or what? Ah, wow. Well, grace period. They, they I give a beer. grace period, dude. But how long, right? Because some uh, people. I mean, if there's cars in front of them. <laughs> so people are honking and it's still red, where you're like, <laughs> Dick, hold on, bro. <laughs> he, he mistimed that one. <laughs> 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 fucking slipped all the fingers, this of Fernie. Yeah. yeah. And shit. No, no, no. Like, if they're right in front and the light turns green. And I see that the lane, either lane, fucking already goes, and they're still like, that's when I honk. Hey, you know, like once, the, once the, the car is on the either lane, hey, move when? on, and my guy is still fucking stuck. Oh, hey, you, know, oh, hey, you, know, hey. you know, sometimes they, oh, the, you know, there, there's women that say that that it's because of us that they wear makeup. Like I've seen women in in, um, in traffic wear makeup. Mm -hmm. 
This week was the first time that I saw a woman in traffic eating her fucking boogers, bro. Like she she went in deep. And I was like, I was like, I was right behind her. And I was like, I got to see how this ends. Uh, so you pulled up next to her? No, or? I could just see her from the rear view. Like, uh, okay. I was right behind her. And I, I saw, see how this ends. I'm like, cause she went in, bro. I'm like, oh, let's fuck. see how this ends, You're like, bro. pick me a winner. And sure enough, bro, she fucking, she went in there, fucking grabbed the winning number and uh-huh. fucking, and she went like this. I agree. I was like, oh man, dude, I lost a little bit of respect for humanity at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never been about fucking eating the mocos or anything like that. When we were kids, it's like, I, I don't you know, remember doing that, but I, 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 kids do that, right, bro? Yeah, it's like an instinct where there's something too. There's some yeah, people that believe that there's bacteria in there that helps your immune system. That's why kids they do it because you know we're yeah, that's not we're why they do like it, that. Why do they do it? Wait, did, my son does it, wait, and it's fucking weird every time, wait. I don't yeah, think he's doing it for bacteria reasons. I don't know if, well, it, if there's he a has lot of shit that we do. There's, a, there's a lot of shit that we do that we don't, uh, we don't fucking realize instinct, why we do it. Instinct-wise? Or yeah, like, like, like curvy women, big tits. That's that's all like fucking, it's, it's for like mating, way. Like, oh, that, they can carry our children and all that kind of bullshit. So there's always a reason where you don't just do shit just to do it, way. I don't. I don't think there's a flaw in the fucking in the system like that way, but yeah, it's, it's fucking adults. That's the first time that I seen that way. People eating their boogers as adults. Way. Is it like a nervous thing? You think like eating your nails and shit? Probably or or a tick. It could be a tick or a fucking you know. Yeah, it's que when people get nervous, they tap their hands, they bite their nails, they fucking uno se jalan el pelo. Otros, like, what is it? They fucking, they tap their foot a lot. I saw, I think we talked about this way, but I saw a show about people eating weird shit. And there's a lady that would, that would every day fucking, um, her husband's ashes. She would lick her finger and put her finger in the ashes. And then, <laughs> and then like, <laughs> after, 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 after like, <laughs> after like two years, after like two years, she was like getting like uh, panic attacks because she was, <laughs> she was realizing that there's nothing left of her fucking deceased husband. Shit. <laughs> 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 Se lo cagaba, wey. The morning shit salía el husband, wey. Hey, fucking, he was getting his, his fucking... Wow, wey. Nah, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't know how to phrase it. I don't even know how to say it, but he was still fucking giving it to her in another way. <laughs> oh, shit, wey. Estaba dando todavía in the hey. afterlife. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, wey. You didn't let me put it in your ass. Now I'm going to come out of your ass. <laughs> wow. Well, you guys don't have the balls to say it, wey. Come on. Wow. I mean, Come on, I mean, what is this a fucking I, podcast on no, the no, network? Yeah, way? but we, you know we're more more colorful than that way. What, what are you gonna say? <laughs> I don't know. Way, You're giving know. these people a fucking teaser and then you fucking back out. Way. <laughs> I'll say it. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just uh, it's like yeah, no, you know, fucking está saliendo por Detroit. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just yeah, it's the same thing is just different wording. Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe my delivery was off. Sorry, guys. I apologize if anybody's offended. <laughs> There's another listener. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got two vacancies, guys. If you got friends, family. Fucking, we're down to like fucking, what, 80% of our listeners now. That's good, way. Those are the ones you want. You don't want people to get offended. <laughs> you know, fucking Trump now. When- <laughs> we're talking about coming out of the ass? Is the Trump thing? Jesus. No, I should the keep fucking, up with politics, way. The, 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 they, they fucking, they didn't, well, but to see the not just Trump way, but a good majority of the, the, the Republicans, they just they appeal, they they appeal, they they go after like that hardcore, their hardcore audience. Please, yeah, it's a marketing thing, man. You, you see people like Seth Godin talk about fucking. Who cares if people don't like your shit? What you're doing is you're you're targeting the audience that you want. It's it's the thousand people fucking um, the the theory way that you don't need to be have millions of followers on Instagram. You just need those thousand true fans. Where this is what that is. It has nothing to do with politics, man. Well, first we got to get to those thousand. <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're we're doing. not to wait. Hey, listen, if people get it up, hey, if people we need get, two more and then we, we're, we, need the, we need a thousand first to if, exist. If, if, well, that we're still in it, way. We're not fucking sitting on the throne right now, way. Yeah. But if, if people get offended by shit, I don't know why they're listening, way. No, I'm not saying that they're getting offended. It's just like it came out like, hey, wait. We're looking for 26 and 27 right now. You guys are interested. <laughs> send a, send a, a, an email to a steps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Dude, I've said worse shit than that. I mean, yeah, are people have. getting softer? I mean, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, hey, wait. People it's are just, getting softer too. I was. Uh, yeah, people are getting softer. I wasn't. 
we we say pendejadas, but normally we we Little we say it differently. We say we aim it differently. We don't come out straight. I don't, know, I don't know, bro. I say yeah, shit. I don't, I'm not fucking. I don't keep back with you. No, no. Maybe you personally, wait, but not us. Yeah, you know, like you know, sometimes when we say fucking la paparucha or like fucking el el michilinski or shit like Those that. Those are definitely know? words I don't use, wait. <laughs> so that's definitely Those you. That's not my vocabulary. That's definitely says. you, bro. I say it. Wait, I don't. I mean, wait, we're just having a good time. Wait, there's people listening to this that are stressed out at their jobs right now. They're fucking, they don't like their lives, way. They, they just want a little laughter, way. I don't think I've ever heard Esteban say Michilinski, way. No, way, that's not <laughs> shit, though. Or Chile. Or oh, Chile, but I mean, yeah. that's, not, that's, you know, you, that we, used to we, be we, vulgar, no? Yeah. Isn't that? No, no, we Masa, used to. Masa used to be, when I, when I remember, where was it, at the Ayan El Otro Jale, the, where I met you, I think, I, I think I, when I was fucking saying Masa and some fucking, people were fucking looking at me weird, like, oh, shit, that's fucking... That's fucking vulgar as fuck, bro. Saying like, masa? I don't know. So, yeah, so that your shit Even conversation... Even this guy was thrown back like when I was like, hey, I'm going to go throw a masa. Ay, wey, what the fuck? This wey? guy? The one that started the podcast uh, talking no. about taking a shit? Yeah, yeah. The guy that started this hey, podcast... are we about, really relying on this guy's memory? You know nothing about this memory, <laughs> that's, bro. That's, that's one thing I... I'm like, all right, fuck. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to argue. Hey, but this I'm podcast like, is going to end this podcast. I got a feeling we're going to get into it. It's, it has those symptoms of getting into <laughs> it. One of those episodes? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like we're, something's gonna go down. So <laughs> and it started from like, where's the audience at? <laughs> so, huh? <laughs> where's the audience at, Fernie? Um, si me miraban extraño, way when I used to use masa. Wey. Really? That's crazy, yeah. bro. What the fuck? Masa's not even that crazy, way. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, well, it, not now, but um, <laughs> it could be a shock. Like, what the fuck? What is what is he talking about? Que va a ser tortillitas? Because because it's uh, son unos, unos pinches bolillos that's chingones. That's what I'm saying. So like you, ay, wey, unos bolillos chingones. <laughs> we keep referencing <laughs> to that, dude. El, el, <laughs> what was I gonna say? No, because I'm seeing you. That's one of those words. I guess you maybe you kind of picture it where you're like, I'm masa, ay, oh, wey, like, fuck. like it's not even solid. Me <laughs> unos churros or something. Like you kind of. At least you're like, like all masa, right, but la pinche masa es un pinche like a fucking cow pie, bro. Like Jesus Christ. Me voy a echar un chorizo. <laughs> that, sounds, Goloso. that sounds a little bit accurate for some people. Like Entiras? Sale with the, with the center fucking Con little. Con un grito. <laughs> like, oh, Entiritas sale esa madre. <laughs> That's a topic of conversation. If you guys have a fucking, your, your friend circle's a little weak, just say, hey, voy a echar un chorizo. It's fucking, they can take it either way. <laughs> they, they can take it either way, bro. <laughs> some, some people play you games. You can take right? that one out of context. Wait. People... People play games to keep shit spicy ways. I'm, I'm sure there's there's people that fucking would benefit ah, from it. You know, yeah. This guy plays games when, when there's Valentine's. Remember he talked about playing mm-hmm. bit games? Like, yeah, we do the, the what is it, the um, table topics? Oh. Yeah, the little table uh, topics. I've heard a lot of married couples that have fucking problems. They, they play a lot of games like that. I guess therapy yeah, tells I, them I, to I, play I, th- I thought you meant those kind of games. Yeah. <laughs> like the other kind of games. It's kind of crazy when you fuck. Well, it'd be like Metallica, where do we need a fucking psychologist to tell us how to be a band. Remember on uh, oh, some, uh, some kind of monster? monster? No. I mean, th- I, you, I think it might have worked. It might have helped. But that that psychologist from the Metallica, that guy seemed like he got really involved with them when he was selling his house. Remember that the band was even like, "Wait, hey, well, bro, this guy's getting too involved in our shit." Like they started talking about like even like court structure, and the guy would chime in, and we're like. Well, this guy's a fucking therapist, way. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he, he used to show up with a fucking suit, and then he's wearing a, a ride the lightning shirt. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> what, what, what happened to this guy? It's like a wrong one. This is like a wrong though, because I mean, uh, the guy. I guess he might have felt that he was part of the inner circle now, and they're like, hey, wait, wait no, 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 we're paying you. Type you're, of deal. you're the employee. I yeah. mean, it's important to set those boundaries, way, because sometimes people expect shit, like you know. I feel like sometimes, uh, well, no, maybe I shouldn't say this way. <laughs> Wait, you already said, I thought okay, you didn't really back, bro. You didn't really like, in. I don't fucking back up. No, but I'm, uh, this is p- up, specifically, food. this is specifically mm-hmm. directly to people. I don't, I don't oh, like doing mm-hmm. that way. But, um, but yeah, it's just, you know, you got to be careful when shit's crazy out there. When people expect things, that's just, that's maybe a more generalization. People expect things like sometimes they don't do things for the, just a gesture. That something's expected from it, you know. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I don't know how to gauge that way. If if somebody's being honest or is or like, being legit, you know, like yeah, if they're being nice or they're very or they're being. How do you gauge that? Yeah, you don't. It's hard. Like, how do you get rid of toxic friends? Where like like what what's like the. 
You know, we all have toxic friends, but we've all had people that... <laughs> Maybe we should reach out to the people that have cut, cut me off. <laughs> uh, I mean... <laughs> okay, what's their fucking... They just, you know, they just stop fucking... But, but you know, we... we, we still f- bug somewhere. But we, <laughs> nah. we focus a lot on relationships, right? We talk about like, oh, you know, I'm in between careers, that kind of shit. But we never really touch on friendship. We're like, how do you, how do you tell a friend that's like, hey, I, how do you get out of a toxic friendship? Where I feel like sometimes we... we we extend those longer than they should just because we want to be that friend, right? Oh, yeah, because you're like, fuck, they got no, you know, everything's going wrong for them or, like, they're in a very bad spot. And if I abandon them or if I just cut them off, it's just adding to them, you know? And then it's, yeah, I don't know how you do that. I mean, what, do you sit them down and tell them, hey, listen, this friendship can't continue. I can't continue being your friend because this is what it's doing to me. Because there's certain friends that you know they need help and they ask you for help, but you know, like when you're when you're trying to help them, you you can see it in their face that nothing's processing. They already they already know what they're gonna do. Mm-hmm. Whatever you're telling them is not gonna fucking work. So they're wasting your time, and and what you're telling them is not resonating because they're 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 already thinking of how they're gonna answer that without processing what you tell them. And it's like, dude, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Right? Like I've had friends that talk shit about their ex chicks and then they end up going back with them and I fucking spill the beans on shit but this is like when I was younger with uh, me tiro los calzones <laughs> you know what yeah man she she seemed like you know she was fucking you know wasting your money or fucking not the stuff she was not appreciating and then I heard her she talk shit that. about your mom yeah shit like that yeah she was talking shit about your mom and I don't Una appreciate vez la vi con un cabrón en el mall. I've <laughs> lost a friend like that y deja decirte que no eras tu cabrón <laughs> I've lost a friend like oh, that. Oh, that's a primo. Yeah, I don't know. Primos fucking hold hands. <laughs> it's fucking some awkward primo shit, way. Yeah. Yeah, it's like our own way. Yeah, yeah. the friendship thing is, is crazy because there's people that hold you down, bro. And you have to be careful with that shit, way. You have to be careful because you have to understand where you end and they begin. Where you can't change their lives, way. There's, there's a point where they have to take control over it. There's nothing you can do that's going to change it. But then they keep bringing that negativity around and you're like, fuck. The negative vibes, bro. Whatever, uh, like, um, I, I haven't done it. Well, maybe since the I pandemic. Will. I will. I will. Since the pandemic. Like, we would have friends of the family. I would have friends or whatever. Like, they're, they're going through, you know, they're not feeling okay or whatever. Uh, you know, they would come over to the house, but I never talked to them inside the house. I'm going to the garage or to the back. And I know I've brought this up before. You know, because sometimes that energy, no quiero que se quede en la casa. Well, you know, I don't want that energy, you know, staying <laughs> wait, in there. <clears throat> wait, you would take them to the garage, pa' que... No, we'll would, go in the back. We'll hang out in the alley, or he, like he takes it's him a little to bit more private. He takes them to that spot where the guys masturbate and take a shit. Where here, let's talk over here. <laughs> That's why he made us start the <laughs> the podcast in the garage because our bad juju. Hey, but but, you, no, but that, we were we were separate from the house. <laughs> yeah, probably. Over, uh, <laughs> let's take this back here, bro. I don't yeah. want this inside the house. I don't want this. I don't want this energy. In I don't the, want in this the kind of negativity. I don't want this way. bullshit in my house. Know. This toxic fucking masculinity <laughs> shit. Get the shit out of here, bro. <laughs> I didn't know, bro. Nos está revelando, man. Yeah. No, no, no. But it's just when someone's going, you know, like people, like they have, you know, some issues. They got personal issues. They got, you know, some of them have sorrow. Some of them have hate. Some of them have anger. Fucking, they're confused. Yeah, yeah. Eso, eso, te, eso, eso, te eso, se, eso se queda, güey. Eso no. se queda. Uh, some of the energy stays trapped in your home, bro. Well, there's people talk about like like homes that are quote unquote haunted, supposedly. Yeah, about that. Um, oh. they 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 fucking uh, marriages start crumbling and shit. Like you've heard that before, right? Like you move into a new home, and all of a sudden you're having marital problems. Like you don't understand why. Some people attribute that to fucking energies, right? I get yeah, what you're saying, bro. I know, but I'm so you're talking about like the the, the dead way. But like still, something tragic still, still happened, like there. an energy. So way. like, so like, if I buy a house and the the the, the family there, the, the people there before got divorced or whatever, I mean they're still alive. They took their their bad energy with them, no? Mm, sometimes it stays. That's why a lot. I, I guess in in our culture, and not just in our culture, in, in different cultures, the Asian culture, um, a lot of Latin culture, Latin America. <clears throat> is that they do like you know the cleansing of the house you know whenever you go to a new space or whatever you know you you cleanse it get rid of some of that energy some of that negativity or some of that trap fucking um bad bad or what is it residue que queda. a lot of it just stays trapped in there and it's not that it's haunted you know some fucking places they just have more more trapped energy than others 
And some, yeah, but I, you know, I mean, I don't know if you felt it like when, when, when we work at, when we used to go into a home, sometimes I, I still feel it sometimes when yeah, I go I in. Get that. Would you I, I feel that fucking like it's a, like, como que estás uh, claustrophobic, like you're in a tight space. Yeah, because there's a lot of hoarders. I've been in a lot of hoarders houses well, yeah, on I the mean, west side way. Of course, you have that <laughs> physically, yes, but sometimes in a free, like it, it's open or look, it says just like you have that fucking weird feeling. You know, you walk into some people's houses like, hey, fuck, it feels, I don't know, you, I don't, feel, you don't pinpoint it right there, but it's just like you're uneasy. Like, well, what the fuck is in here? I, I, you know? I, like, I, mean, I said it before, I think I, I, I believe in the, the, like that energy you're saying, like there's, but no, I've never felt that way. I, at some point, I think it's, I mean, Tú le pones más valor, pues, and mm-hmm. I mean, there's 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 a thing about like cults, right? Like not in, not everybody's gonna get suckered into a cult. There's a certain personality, certain things that these people are trying to see. Like, oh, this person's sus- uh, um, susceptible susceptible to fucking terapiada shit. You know, that's the same with energies. Where you're more susceptible to fucking experience those kind of shit than. Than, than maybe me and him because mm-hmm. you, you've you seen shit that I never felt or experienced like even we've been in the same place like when we were in Peru eh, that you you were going through this fucking weird shit with some guy that would come at night um, mm. some old man mm. that, yeah, my like, dreams. that would tell you shit or, or give you some kind of signals and I, I, I don't never done that way I've never had those experiences so may, maybe you there's something about you that you're more. Um, <laughs> Te van a terapiar, is what he's saying. <laughs> well, not terap, not terapiar. Los pinches fantasmas. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, it's more like uh, you, you're more um, receptive. You're, you're more kind of um, like sensitive to those kind of energies, way. Because I get it from people. Like if so, I see somebody and I talk to them and they're just they're they're fucking just far out there. I'm not even gonna engage way. Like it's just no nah, fuck this dude or chick. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. I mean, when certain people come in, like you feel it. You, you know, we do the polite thing. You know, we you're like we're not rude. We're not saying like, "Hey, no me hables," or "Fucking keep your distance." I don't want to talk to you. Can let you. Oh, you do it, but you know, at some point when the conversation, you start like, "All right, well, size, not sizing them up," but you start like, "So, what's up with this? Por qué no estoy a gusto? Why am I'm not getting a good vibe from this person?" Uh, a lot of it is, uh, you know, the the whole political spectrum. Where I mean, that that changed a lot of um, like dynamics between people. Where like you start now, if somebody was a Trump supporter and you weren't, it's it it, it affected the way you interacted and yeah. vice versa. Mm-hmm. Like I've been I've been on this thing where I I put on ads about you know trying to provide my services with the guitar way, and some of these uh, people that respond and some of these posts that I have. It's uh, it gives me a sense of like the the dynamic in society where like uh, uh, far from the bubble that that I have of my circle, in the ads is like uh, the one that I saw recently is no Trump supporters, no Putin apologists, no fucking anti vaxxers like I mean I get it way but like fuck way like we're trying to play music way like mm-hmm. you, you're telling me that. It's that fucking segregated way now that people don't want to have anything to do with somebody that thinks a little different from them. I don't I mean, want to be around people I like mean, that. It, it, and it was my opinion, pues, that what you're saying on that shit. I'm, like you're talking about like a little ad like for like like just to be band a, or whatever. Yeah, just to be in a band. Musicians. Yeah, just to be in a band. Well, I mean, I guess you kind of get it, way, porque it's, it's not as simple as someone that has a different opinion from you because that, that, that I can understand, pues. You know I mean? I like to have those discussions where even if fucking they turn to arguments, I still fucking like having those discussions. But we've come to a point where where like where like you can't even have those discussions because no one gives, pues, you know. There's no give. It's no a what about it, It's kind of like what you're saying before with the with yeah with your well not even just that. It's like what you're saying before, like with that toxic friend, pues. Like you tell him something, but he's not really listening. Way he doesn't really care. He's he's looking to either hear that one specific thing or. Or like he just he has an, an answer for everything. So there's no like there's no back and forth. There's just I'm talking, you're talking. I'm talking, you're talking, and there's no you're not really having a conversation, please. Yeah, but it, when I read that, to me it's the same thing as saying I don't want black people, I don't want Mexicans, I don't want like to me it's it's a judgment way. Like it just because you have uh dividing opinions, to me I don't want to be in a band when there's judgmental people like that, even if it's against like fucking Trump and Putin like I don't want to be around people like that way that that the mentality is so small that oh I can't play with a fucking Trump but, supporter it's like I don't want to be around people like that way so to me it's crazy that 
that it gets to that fucking point to like you can't even play music with somebody that believes something different than you where it, it, you guys aren't understanding the the concept way music is 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 it's math it's a language it's something that doesn't care about your personal beliefs does if somebody plays me a f major and i'm say fuck that i want to play a g major <laughs> it's music way it doesn't work fuck you yeah, but, fuck with the f major yeah, yeah. but i mean it, it's it doesn't not work yeah, but that it, it goes. It's it ties in exactly like like I said with before. Way when you're talking about that toxic person, if you don't want that toxic person in your life, why not just put it out like that? Was I don't want someone like this. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Mm. I know you're you're not, but I'm saying like so. But if, you wouldn't even sign up for it. But either. now I wouldn't want if somebody if that ad said no Trump support. I'm not. I don't want to be a part of that. that, that, right that that's what I'm saying. So now yeah. now you know what that person's like. You can stay away and then. There, they still get to look for whatever they want. I understand it, what you're saying. In, in a met, in a, in a way, you know, in a, met, in a way, yeah, it's like fucking. I want to keep my space free of this. What I think is toxic. I just don't want. I just don't want to be in a bubble where everybody thinks like me. I want to be around that person. That if we're shooting the shit, we're going on tour. I want to be able to talk to somebody that doesn't think like me. Like, why would I want to be around people that are that are that are? But I mean, at some point. <clears throat> and, and it's like I, and what I'm taking is or what I'm it's like how Fernie says he likes to have those conversations he likes to have those discussions you know the back and forth and everything as you do too right you you like to have conversations you like to have little mini debates on, on whatever topic or subject that you're familiar with or have some knowledge of maybe your bandmate doesn't maybe they don't know how to have these conversations so let's just say you're 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 not a liberal. You're not a conservative. You're just an individual, but you have opinions and you have thoughts and you see things differently from outside the box. But if you say something that does not go with their thinking or their beliefs, don't you think that right there is going to create a little tension between you guys even before the show? Not on your behalf, but maybe they're going to be like, "Man, fuck this guy." No, it, it, it happens. Yeah. It happened already before. So that's what I'm saying. I don't want to be around that way. But it's just crazy that. Um, the political climate way. What well, I guess maybe you guys aren't, aren't, aren't seeing the point that I'm trying to make is that, as a society, yeah, that's how it is. But it infiltrated like a ban, and it infiltrated like mm. just expressing yourself. Like that's that's what my point in all this is. Is that music is it's a universal language. Right? I don't want to get too into it because it's gonna fucking confuse the shit out of people. Way, but this has nothing to do with what you think. This has nothing to do with what you believe. There's certain rules. There's certain uh, this is math way. Two plus two, you can't say two plus two is three. It's always four. This is the same with music. This has nothing to do with the color. This has nothing to do with your political views. And and to me as a musician, it's sad that the that the climate of the fucking petty shit that society goes through also now infiltrated this fucking thing. But mm. that's what I'm saying. You're, you're talking about the, the actual music, right? But people are making that music and you're talking about going into a group to make music. So a web, well, there has to be that inner person. It's not like you just fucking, no one says anything. You walk in, you play, and you walk out, and no one ever says anything, right? There's a reason, pues, that people go in and out of bands and stuff, porque there's, 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 there's people conflicts and, there's, and shit. So I, I, don't, I don't like, I, to make it clear, I don't like, como dices, que, que you just put in an ad, ain't no fucking Trump supporters, and you generalize like that. No Biden supporters. Yeah, no yeah this, like how would no, that look? Girl, no, no, I'm saying, I, I don't, I don't like, no, no black guys. I don't want to be in a band with black no, no, guys. I totally you're, but, you're going to be like, wait, whoa, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? It's music, yeah. bro. Like You need you need different, because somebody that but, believes in Trump. Oh, sorry, bro. I no, yeah, no, but, but what, what I'm saying is, because you're talking about the music, and the music, obviamente, the music's the music, but... When you're talking about a band, but you're talking about interpersonal relationships, way, and and it's like that toxic thing, like you're saying, way. Maybe they, to them, those people are toxic, and I don't need them in my life. And yeah, we're gonna make music, and music Shut is a up. language, is a science, whatever you want to call it, way. But they're, we're making it together, pues, and we're gonna have to get along, pues, and we're gonna be have to be in a room for hours. We're gonna have to go on tour. We're gonna be there's gonna be a lot of moments where there's no music involved, way. Yeah. So, so I mean, you gotta account for that. That you can't discount that. Mint in this. Maybe somebody, maybe the person that put that ad must have, you know, they might have had a good band going. But at some point, yes. Well, I think that's all okay. bands. No? <laughs> Politics, <laughs> fucking well, to, to be quite honest, maybe this is a basic generalization and uh, ignorance on my part. But no, it's no, mostly no. white musicians that do that. And maybe, maybe my 
my trigger is because of that because they're trying to you mean the, the my, my the bad people, you mean the, the, yeah, the put that it's, type it's of not that's not black people like maybe my issue comes from it being the heroic white dude that's like oh hey you fucking minorities i got this i'm, I'm the fucking voice <laughs> no. yeah. so well, that's that's where i uh, that's where i come in with like maybe my my bias and my perception is i'm fucking uh, i'm a person of color way right? i'm a minority like i don't need for you fucking white shining armor dude to fucking tell me what i want to be around like maybe that's what it is maybe okay. maybe the core of it is that that i i've seen and then it's like everything when you go on twitter the majority of people making the noise are white women white fucking dudes that that think that they 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 have the the they, they have the platform now i got this guys like you guys are fucking this. Hey, hold my beer yeah hold my beer bro i got it and i don't like that way i, I fucking hate mm. that shit way yeah, Sorry to use the word hate way, but maybe I'm just getting triggered right now by that because it's, 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 it's really annoying way <laughs> that, that you're trying to fucking do something and then you have people like that that are setting the, the, the fucking climate of, of like an industry way. It's like, Pero come on, to, dude. To, to see it another way, way, like to see it, say, por, por on, your, on your point of view, that, that kind of saves you though, no? Like they put that and you know you don't want to be around that person. Yeah, like late. So from, from your point of view, yeah. I feel like you should be like, Thank you for putting that. I'm glad I never fucking get to talk to your ass. Sure. Perfect. hundred <laughs> percent, bro. But the thing is that it, it makes it harder because there's a lot of that way. So, oh shit. So it's like, you're, you're trying to navigate through something that sounds cool. And then you're like, and then, and of course, yeah, I'm judging them too. I'm part of the fucking problem yeah. as well, because I could say I could be the bigger person and I'm admitting that way. I could be the bigger person and say, I'm not going to let what these guys say affect me. And, and it's one of those easier said than done things, right? Because no, we're, all, we're all human. We all, I mean, yeah. even though I talk like I fucking, sometimes I have my shit together. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Man. I'm just a human. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't, I don't, I don't know where I'm going, but I know how to get there. If that makes any sense. Way. Um, but it's just, it's just unfortunate way that not only in, 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 in the society way that you have to shift through people to find like, I, I don't know. It's just kind of complicated way. Well, good thing that we in the podcast don't put that, you know. So I'm gonna start putting that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that that particular phrase. No flat phrase, earthers. <laughs> no, no well, well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> no flat earthers are fucking science is bogus on this fucking page. If you don't believe in fucking listening to the intros, mm. I don't need you in my life. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I do. We'll talk about it. No, but you know what? Um, ya con todo esto. Uh, I, I've, I've, um, I think I've, I'm working on changing that not to like, people are entitled to their opinions. People are entitled to their thoughts and their beliefs and everything. And there's still people out there that it's going to be hard to understand. And I'm sure they might be thinking the same about me. Like, you know, I'm, I'm for this or I'm for that, or I'm against this or I'm against that. And at some point there's going to, I'm not going to let that affect anymore. I'm, I'm working on that, whatever their political, you know, um, selection is or whatever their thought on religion or whatever their thought on, on whatever topics comes up. I'm just like, you know what? That's your opinion. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let it affect me. I mean, we're still cool. We're still friends. It's just like, you know, I'm not going to impose my, my opinions or my thoughts on you and, you know, just respect that and we'll, we'll be okay. We can I, still talk about anything else. I mean, that, that's basically us where like, like we, we honestly, if we really sat down and wrote our beliefs, we would, on paper, we shouldn't be friends with. Yeah, we we have no. I'm serious. <laughs> no, I totally agree with you. I'm, I'm serious, not, dude. On, yeah. pa on paper, we should not be friends, and that's <laughs> and that's the that's that's my issue is that if we really judge people by how they believe, we're missing out on great friendships mm -hmm. because we're judging people. But there's a difference here for uh, to Esteban that we we have different beliefs and everything, but we don't hold that resentment or we don't hold that anger. And I'm not angry at you for believing this way, and you don't get angry at me for not uh, you know trying to understand your opinion. And we don't get angry at Fernie because of he just has a different thought about the whole thing, and we don't you know. And but it, this is because we've, I mean, only except for the exception of that time that you were missing. For the most part, we've always. <laughs> Where I was in the milk carton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen? Where me? I was on the on fucking uh, Josh or what's his name? Wash. What's that guy? Uh, jo uh, John Amer Wash. John Wash was yeah, doing Amer the segment no, on me. <laughs> is it not America's Most Wanted? Was it America's Most Wanted? Well, he has another show, but yeah, yeah. that guy. 
Yeah, fucking. So, you know, with the exception of that, we've always talked and we've always hung out. And the good times and the bad times, we've all been there. Going on, like, you know, you were going through some shit. I was going through some shit. Fernie was going through some shit. Maybe we wouldn't talk about it, but we were there for each other. <sighs> yeah, and, and, yeah. And it's years of that interaction that we've kind of learned and I'm still don't understand. I still don't understand well, you completely. Yeah. Well, that, and, but that's why when Fernando said you're going on tour and you're, there's going to be times where you, it's not music. Well, that, that's us though. We don't, yeah. we don't, that's like saying like, yeah, but there's a reason you click with some people and like you don't know. I know. Like, but if you, if you're just going by it now, you're, you're automatically fucking oh, yeah, you're missing out on people where right? you're missing out on these cool experiences that, that you yourself said you're going to be on tour. We honestly would probably disagree more than we want to think, but, but we're still going to have a good time on tour, even though it has nothing to do with fucking being I don't know if we survive a tour now, I think. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like that. No, but I'm saying like, like, like on that ad, was like, yeah, it's cool. Let us put that down. But at least on your end, you know, that person was you're not going to survive a tour yeah, with. Because yeah. that's just going to fucking get to you already. Because, you, you know, it's not just going to be that ad way. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like you're excluding yourself from really uh, experiencing like cool friendships mm -hmm. just because like you're 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 putting that out there where like I don't know, it's just sad way. It's it's it, it's more deep than than what we're really fucking acknowledging way, but mm -hmm. it's just it's just sad way that people fucking exclude cool friendships like us for example because Oh, that person doesn't agree with me. Fuck them. Right? But you know what? I think that this this friendship works because we 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 met together at a young age. Estamos todos jóvenes. We were still. I mean, even like you said right now, we still don't know where, who we are. Or yeah, what we kind of grew, grew together. Yeah, you know, really. we grew together, and and in that process, you're growing up, and then you know, if we think about it, if you we kind of diverge a little yeah, bit. Yeah, if we go back 20 years, we are nothing like how we were 20 years ago. Hopefully, nothing like we were a month ago, or a yeah. week ago, a day ago. Yeah, I get it. Where yeah, and I think because of that, well, Ramon we, shit a part of him out this morning. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, in sections too. <laughs> It what a dig. A, when you really think about it, taking the shit is like, I don't need you in my system. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't need you in my life. You're, you're, I took the best of you already. You're yesterday's news. Let's wait, fucking wait. really dissect taking the shit away. Because taking the shit is this fucking... <laughs> We're assholes, dude. Like, well, yeah, it comes out of your asshole. Yes, take, taking, taking the shit is... You're, you're saying, I got all the nutrients I need from you fucking Fuck broccoli. You. Fuck you. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. I don't fucking here. need you in my life anymore. <laughs> Go... Go out, go do something else. Oh God, bro! And no, but going back to you, yeah, yeah you're <laughs> right. There's history, way. Right? But the point is that it could be done, way. Right? Even if, even yeah. if it's not history, you could have cool relationships with people that don't agree with you. And that's the sad part for me, way, right? is that we exclude having these friendships with people just because of how they believe. Right? Well, I'm saying that I think it's a little harder too now, porque como te digo, way, like you, not it's not a completely in general way, pero there there's now. Like there's conversations you can't really have because you're both just talking. Yep. No, but I'm in in the sense that I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying something, then you're saying something, but we're not really like talking, boys. We're just saying I'm making a statement, and you're making a statement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm making a statement, yeah, and you're making a statement, yeah, yeah. and no one's listening to each other's statement. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of that now. So I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I guess you you do miss out on relationships. I mean, we. Pero, that's something that I learned way like with us is I learned that. Uh, no, dude, it's not about change. I, I, this is what this podcast has taught me, being one of the hosts, way, is it's not about changing somebody's perspective. Way. That's not what this is about. Way. And that's, I feel like in the beginning when we would have debates, that was the goal was to change this person. Like, why are you fucking, why are you so stubborn? But as the years have gone by, I've, I've come to a realization that it's not about changing a person's perspective way, because... Um, it's just about having a conversation. Well, that's all that it is about. Way and for me now, from now on, when we talk about shit, I'm not, I'm not expecting to change anybody that's listening to this as mine or this dude or you. Like it's just we're having a conversation with, and it's good to hear somebody else's perspective because it still amazes me that we can have the same ingredients, the same surroundings, and we come out totally different. Different outcome, yeah. But that's really amazing to me. How yeah, that's a good. That's a good. That's a good point right there. You know, we have yeah. We'll get something different from that conversation or that topic. No. Yeah, because I mean, not before COVID, maybe probably before that way. But I mean, a, a while back was, Dick, I had a chingo of fucking Republican like friends with like hardcore and fucking, well, I mean, a lot of them were like ex military, like fucking cops, ex cops type of shit. Way, 
usually I think lean, most of them lean towards the right, you know? Yeah. And we'd have crazy conversations about shit before, like Trump and before all that way. But we had those conversations and then fucking went and go eat or go and go have a fucking beer or whatever. There was no hard feelings. Yeah. I don't think we live in that world anymore. Like there's, well, yeah. there's a lot more, pues, that those conversations just lead to, well, fuck you then. Yeah. You know, they, no. cause no one really, you're not listening to each other. Then, yeah. I mean, cause you can have that conversation like you're saying, even, I mean, I can have that conversation. I shouldn't talk for anybody else. Right. But I know I can have that conversation like you're saying, where we're kind of trying to convince each other. But todavía salgo de aquí, and if I didn't convince you, because I didn't convince you, you know, I didn't, I didn't give, yeah. I didn't give, I mean, I'm, I'm still me, and you're still you, so who cares, yeah. you know? Yeah. But people can't do that anymore, I don't think we, well, yeah. a good, a good portion, I should say, I don't know about fucking everybody. Right? Yeah, it sucks, bro. I still, I still count that as a win, bro. Yeah, I mean, everything is, right, bro? We have to be, I, I, I try to stay optimistic about things, just sometimes, you know, there's certain days where it's hard to be optimistic where we all oh, have our sure. ups and downs, you know, and we have things that happen to us that we're like, fuck, right? Like crazy shit where crazy emotions, but then you're like, mm. fuck it. They, the day, the day is going to continue taking, yeah. you know, no the fucking the, uh, the minutes and the hours are going to keep passing. Us, so let's just, did, let's move on. Did you guys hear about uh, uh, Taylor Hawkins? The yeah. From, from the Foo Fighters? Uh, yeah. Ramon was all. My sister, my sister uh, texted me last night. But, ah, yo estaba jetón, so in the morning in my fucking 15 minute masa right there that on, <laughs> I'm trying to catch up and I read like, what the fuck? She texted me like, no chingas. So then you're getting rid of yesterday's news. Yeah. <laughs> Catching uh, up on today's. What a dick. I got everything <laughs> from this broccoli. Yeah, fuck you, broccoli. Get out of me. <laughs> it's kind of fucking savage that is, we have mate. that, bro. That we just take advantage of nutrients yeah, and then we we're say, like, oh, this, you. you know like oh my god this looks so delicious they're like oh my god it's so yummy and then at the end it's like scared to la chingada I don't need you anymore like, I got the best of you <laughs> <laughs> you guys were big Foo Fighter fans huh bro you and your uh, sister no, no, well I think it was yeah I, we just Dave we Grohl? really we love Dave Grohl <laughs> yeah. we oh, love yeah, Dave Grohl yeah. and it's just that that guy is a rock and roller he's oh, yeah. lo que sea. I a mean a lot roller. of this <laughs> rock and roller he's uh, my kind of dude he's a rock and roller, roller eh? <laughs> he sounds so wow. boomer way. <laughs> <laughs> he's a ro- hey, hey, rockero all right bo- he's boomers, rockero boomers don't say rock stars but now they say he's a rock and roller <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah your dad uh, moment bro pinche rockero <laughs> yeah your dad moment He's a, he's a great rock and roller. <laughs> he, he knows how to shake it, wiggity. <laughs> you oh, know? God, that's so funny. So fucking um, uh, get the way seed. Yeah, so we're big uh, Dave Grohl fans, and mm-hmm. he's done like a lot of these shows where he brings people up, and he really fucking you know he tells the crowd, "Hey, relax, que la chingada." And he, no, he need, I think he even played with a broken leg, or no sé si se cayó esa madre, and he kept playing and and all this. So I'm like, "Fuck yeah, you know, este güey a toda madre." Uh, Taylor Hawkins is like fucking. That guy was energetic. He was um, fucking. It just seems like he, he was a good nothing, guy. Wait, what the mm, yeah, he was a sucks. good guy. No, I know. Me distra- <laughs> me distra- yeah. Yeah. But uh, the only thing, uh, the, th- the funny thing is back. that last night I was um, on Amazon Prime and I was looking at the fucking, you know, to rent or to buy movies. And I saw one that said Studio 666 and I saw Dave Grohl's face and I'm like, what the fuck? What is this? Is it a documentary or what? So I click on it and I watch the trailer. It's a movie that he wrote. And it's about the band, I guess, doing their 10th album or their 10th year or something like that. And they wanted to do it uh, somewhere where they haven't recorded before. So they got a, they went to record at this mansion. Apparently, the mansion's haunted. Yeah. Right? And I was watching it. And, you know, it seems it, it seems like it's like a funny spoof, but it's got, you know, some horror in it. It's an accidental movie, way. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't mean to have it, but it just turned out to be a movie. Uh, so, in one of the essays... I saw that he's got Taylor Hawk and drumming. He's like, keep going, keep going faster, faster. And then once he's done fucking Taylor Hawk, he's like, there, you happy? And then fucking Dave Grohl grabs one of the symbols and fucking throws it at his head. Oh, God. He lo- he decapitates him, right? Jesus Christ. So I'm all like, holy shit. Maybe maybe the Foo Fighters are like us. We shouldn't <laughs> talk about certain people. Where can fucking- maybe, maybe that's that post you saw, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <No> st- <laughs> shit, man. We need and to stop. So looking. I saw that. I'm like, oh, fuck. And the last night, I'm all like... Yeah, no, nah, I'm not into it right now. You know, it was like five ninety nine. I'm like, it, bro. Eh, I'm, I'm like, 
He subconsciously yeah. knew where you're alone? So I no, no, not knew. I'm just <laughs> like a monster. I was gonna watch it, but I'm like haunted way. <laughs> yeah, como las once, dos, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna watch even if it's not scary, I'm like, I'm not gonna watch this right now. So I didn't and then in the morning I see the news or my, the text came and my mom and sister I'm like, What the fuck? I'm like, that's I killed him, he says. No, I oh fifty is young, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Fifty is not old, right? Dude, I'm gonna be forty six. See, bro? What if you have four more years of your life? Would anything no, change from you? No, like, like, I don't know. Sorry to take yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But if you knew you had four more years, you were dying at 50, wait, would you do, what would you do different? What would be the first step, boy, that you think you would do? I don't know. I guess fucking. And I realize it's a hard question. I know, but spot, then, no, but it's like, what do you do? Like, all right, uh, I, I, I love my parents. I, so I was still. Keep doing that. I'm not going to change anything the way that I interact with my parents. If anything, just maybe uh, go to the house more often or if I can invite them to the house more or spend more time with them. What? How am I going to? And then what? Reach out to more friends, trying to hash some fucking whatever is it that happened. I'm like, look, I don't want you. I really enjoyed your friendship. But look, I said, for whatever happened, let bygones be bygones type of deal. Mm. You know, so you wouldn't. Cut out your toxic people Como es este way? I mean like, Everybody way? needs help I mean it, I know I'm not gonna help them But you got four years but you left got, bro. You got, you're gonna waste yeah, your I life mean, on you got, Oh yeah. shit you're right I'm but, like Oh fuck it well, I'm gonna be like that broccoli <laughs> Sabes que I got the best of you A la chingada Andale I mean I, I don't know I don't know what I would do Would I just quit my job And uh, fucking hey Vámonos a viajar mija Fuck it I mean these these the, these questions have an underlying like it's not just me asking it for a reason yeah. way like these questions always trigger why why don't I think like that why don't mm -hmm. I live like that why do I think that I'm gonna be eighty way like why do I assume that I don't have four more years why, like why do we assume that we have all this time in the world nah. we don't I, way. I we don't. don't like if you if you really realize how much more hours you have with the people you love how much more how many more weeks you have how many more birthdays you would see that on paper when you would be like fuck dude i gotta live bro well i mean it always takes me back to that movie uh what is it big fish right that that um tim is it tim burton yeah the tim burton movie where like the character the ewan mcgregor at a young age he knows how when, how he's gonna die or how old he is when he's gonna die right so based upon that he does all kinds of crazy things without, you know, without any sense of danger or precaution. Because he's like, I know this is not the way I die. So I'm able to do this. I'm able to fucking jump off a fucking cliff. I'm able to do, you know, all these crazy shit or help all these people or go into a dangerous situation. Because I know this is not how I'm going to die. So it, it, it limits that fucking a lot of the things that we do out of precaution. It removes the limit, must be. Yeah, it removes, it removes that limit. limit. Yeah. yeah, because you you cannot be. I mean, if you're afraid to live, you're also. If you're afraid to die, you're also afraid to live because you're afraid to die. You're not gonna do things that are, that are put you in quote unquote danger way. Like, it's just it's a crazy fucking um, like it's the way that we are as humans. Where I, I read about this dude. Oh, I shouldn't say dude, man. It's a little insensitive. Mm. A trans woman that was a Navy SEAL and. When when she was uh, in the Navy SEALs, um, she knew that the body that she had was not the body that she was designed to have. So she had all these acolytes, way, because she was like, "I want to die, dude. I'm not. I'm not fucking. I'm not comfortable in my body. This isn't who I am. I just want to fucking die." Oh, so she's, she's like on a suicide mission, like suicide fucking. But the run. thing is, she had all these acolytes because she was the first one to fucking go away. She didn't give a fuck about being alive. She was, she was. I mean, she was trained. Yeah. Right, and and not, and I'm saying she, I'm saying shit. she to be like sensitive of the transition, yeah. but in those days it was a he, right? Mm -hmm. So so she was just fucking. I hate my life. This isn't who I am. I can't be myself. I can't be myself in here. I can't be myself anywhere. So she would be the first one before anybody would say go. She was already in there fucking shooting people and killing people, and so she had all these acolytes way. Right? And then when when she graduated from the navies or whatever the fuck it's called way when they when they come out <laughs> when they retire I guess, mm -hmm. um, she transitioned to a woman and the the navy seals just turned her back on her. They, they she's not invited to any of the seals events even though she's she's she has really the high ranking really world. high rankings yeah. dude. Like I, I can't I can't remember her rankings but. Mm. She was a fucking badass way. And they don't invite her to the Navy SEAL events. They don't acknowledge her. They don't do anything. Man. They just completely turn their back on her. Serving this fucking country way. 
Well, I mean, risking the, her life. The military in general, way, and por decir eso is like a whole other level of that. The military, pues, is a very, like, masculine fucking, like, uh, environment, no? Like, very, I don't want to, not, 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 not toxic, not, pero, like, everything is about masculinity, pues, you know? And then that one pretty much, I mean, it's still a whole other level, so... Well, yeah, and their I, I guess in it, their eyes or in their mentality is like she took something sacred and just you know uh, bastardized it or I, fucking. I'm not, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying to yeah. Yeah. And their in their eyes, you and know. But it, it it it's not a shocker, pues. You know. But in in ese sentido también though the the thing is uh fucking what was it like uh, on Tuesday we were roasting we went roasting right so ya acabamos I'm on my way home and on Martin Luther King. Um, right by Vermont Fuck dude There was traffic And I saw the flares And there's like They made the I think it's a three lane Into a one lane You know Trying to go home I'm like what the fuck And as I'm getting closer There's a There's a um, Like a check Check cashing Or McDonald's around there Right across from it There was this building dude Taped off Fucking You saw a little Fucking The little conitos That they put on the floor As like you know Marking for evidence There's a per- I could see into the building Because the traffic Was so low and the, and the police Were just like you know Guiding us And I see in the building There's this lady Like doing like The fingerprints On the on like a banister And I'm looking like What the fuck Is a crime scene Yeah So I'm like What the fuck So I get home <laughs> That's what he was getting to Yeah And I tell my mija I'm like hey, um, You have that, that app right That tells you like Yeah that I think the it's neighborhood? Citizen, oh, citizen citizen up, yeah. So she looks into it She's like Holy shit There was a it, shootout It lights up <laughs> Yeah she's all like Because then she looks into it And it was a fucking uh, Like dude There was like 54 shots It wasn't just a random It wasn't well, A guy with a gun It was like Someone sprayed A fucking car That I guess They were targeting a woman they were targeting a woman and they fucking sprayed it and there was other occupants in the car and they fucking hit the building. 54. Uh, and I told her, dude, that must have been a fucking high powered rifle. I can't right be away, a high powered rifle. Right I can't away. be a gun. You know, a gun. I mean, <laughs> si te vas a agarrar, then, you know, to change, to change. I mean, magazines like what is it? Legally 10. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah, but, but if you're talking about all right, go, go, well, well, something with more capacity is what I was saying. Something that, that's with not more high powered. All right, more capacity, fucking ammo, right? <laughs> so Sagarron, I mean, it, it, because it was in a cart. I mean, they, it was like a, almost like a drive by. He pictured he a up. fucking 1940s Tommy gun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> in a suit. Al Capone. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. With a pinstripe suit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Hey, what's the matter? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Al Capone in South Central. Hey, what? <laughs> Oh, no, all right. Hey there, kid. Get out of here. You're bothering hey, you're me. You're being a little rascal, eh? But <laughs> 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 like they sprayed it up. Cigar, and cigar. and my girl was all like, "Holy shit! I run through there when I go running. I or when I take uh, our uh, Stella, <laughs> we run through that fucking building. I know which fucking building it is. I'm all like, holy shit! Yeah. And this happened like around 9:30 at night. And um, so by the time I passed, it was como las once. But it's like, oh fuck, and and that one stuck. I'm like, shit. So get, get the the whole thing is <laughs> how did it connect? We're talking to, about the military. I know no, how no, did it what, like, what the, it goes. What it goes back to is like that group. whole like, what would you change? I mean, like, it, it's things oh, like took it way back. Yeah. So <laughs> so I'm like, your shit, homie. Now now like, okay, is it even safe to run anymore, or like even walk at a certain place? Like la chingada. Like I think things are starting to spike up. Especially in the neighborhood that we're at, like we're starting to notice more yeah, spiking up. That's that's the no, debatable. That's, no, um, yeah. yeah, like it, the thing is, more things are being brought. Now you have a neighborhood out, or a citizens out that people are obsessed with yeah. fucking crime. My chick's all into that too. I tell her get off of that fucking shit. We're in Vancouver and she's on the citizens app. Like, dick, just enjoy your fucking. Who cares about crimes, way? Um, this is a this is this is a, basically people don't understand this way, but statistically, it's the safest time to be alive, way. Statistically, even though it seems like everything's happening, it's fucking madness. No, it's just more shit being broadcast. But statistically, it's the safest time to be alive. We we were much more in danger when we were growing up in the nineties. Fuck yeah, we were in danger, bro. But I guess we didn't have. I guess we know, didn't like know. That said that ignorance is bliss type yeah. shit. It's hundred percent, Fernie. Yeah. And, and we we live in a society where now we're and and, and that's understandable. Can we fucking run now? Yeah, that's understandable. But I totally understand that. Yes, you could run away. It's 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 not it's not the fucking. We live in some pretty comfortable cushion fucking times in yeah. life. Way someone in the little 
thread, no, then they post something también, and they're like, well, I'm not going to do that. And I was like, what the, life's a calculated risk way. Like, it, oh, it's, yeah. a, it's about, it's about talking about death where it's like, if you're afraid to live, you're, if you're afraid to die, you're afraid to live because you're starting to keep yourself from actually living. Yeah. But they see that like, like, like you're saying, like to go back to like where we keep saying the running way. Okay. So I'm like, I don't want to run out of here anymore or whatever. They could, you're, you're talking about, you might get shot on the street way. You might be at home eating a grape and choke way. Yeah. That's a good point. Where <laughs> So like, you're not going to eat grapes. But see, that's the argument that people say is like, well, fuck that. I don't want to lose weight because if I run, I get hit by a car. Fuck that. But it's like. But what about if you have infarto because you had three cheeseburgers today? It's a quality of life, right? <laughs> so hey, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to eat no cheeseburgers. That's what I'm saying. So, so yeah, you, you, you take calculated risk, boys, you know? That, that, that's, yeah. that's what life is. You, you, you decide if this is worth my, my like, life. Like, not not. Consciously, pues, but like you're saying, maybe I don't want to run, way. Maybe I don't want to eat that grape because I heard someone choked fucking last week. I mean, if it wasn't for death, way, like dying, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for us knowing that we're going to die, you wouldn't appreciate your parents. I wouldn't appreciate my parents. I wouldn't appreciate the small things. Why? Because nobody fucking dies. Who gives a shit about that person? Mm -hmm. It's it, it requires something like death, something very tr like permanent, permanent. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we don't know what happens. Right. But let, yeah, for the sake of this argument, it's permanent. We um we don't really consider that that that's that's basically what it is way like um. Well, I mean, you, when you're younger, pues, you don't you don't give as much as a fuck way because you feel you one you feel like you have a lot ahead of you, pues, like we're yeah, saying for sure. Bro. We assume we're for gonna sure. make it to eighty, way for sure. And you assume your fucking parents are gonna be around for a long ass time too, you know. For sure. And as the older you get, I guess you, that's why you start appreciating things more because you start you need you death. get that sense of urgency yeah. and shit. We yeah. need to have death in society to appreciate things, way. Without that, we wouldn't appreciate anything. Imagínate, we. So, so n there's no more running. I mean, we don't think about death. Where people don't think about death a lot. Where and, and it's something very taboo. Ooh, a bunch of people listening to the show and I'm like, oh, oh fuck, fuck death. There they go again. But death is not that. Death is death is there to fucking make you appreciate your life at this moment. If it wasn't for death, you would take even everything else for granted, even more than what we do now. Like it's required, dude. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with it. It's so it's it's every everybody if. Back to the Trump fucking Putin uh, apologist. Back, if all that shit a sideway, we all end up in the same fucking place way. And 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 in our casket way, in the fucking ground, where is all that Trump Putin? Where is all that shit at? It had, does, has nothing to do with anything at that point. Way, you're just part of fucking everything else way. And some people never exp never uh, realize that way. So so does get pasó with the, the trans lady when with the trans groom well she she's not accepted in the in the seals way like she, she's she's now a, a an activist about like that community way but the point of that was that she she didn't think she was worth anything way and she lived like she had all these accolades which she's is like crazy the suicide run pretty much way. that's she didn't want to do it herself exactly a suicide run she mm -hmm. wanted somebody else to kill her but like ramon said um, with the movie uh, Big Fish, mm -hmm. that it wasn't in her in her in her fucking um, in her in her path to die like that. So she just ended up fucking having all these accolades, but she really wanted to get killed somewhere in Afghanistan way, without her literally doing that way. And there's a lot of people out there where that that are that are fucking this close to snapping either on themselves or people around them way, and and that's fucking scary, bro. I'm like. You know, that's one of the things is like we talk about crime being low and it's the safest. Yeah, it is way. But but I, I can honestly man, I'm not a fucking scientist. I don't study this shit way, but I can probably say that the that the quality of life is diminished. Right, bro. We can probably agree with that. Even if it's safe, yeah. if it's safe to be alive and, and more people are living longer. But the quality of life has gone down. Right, bro. I mean, can we agree with that? Or do you guys think they, that they, as far like as like mental state, as far as like mental state. As far as like their dependency, guys, guys have a um, lower testosterone than their grandparents do, which I, I get that like feminists and, and women think that testosterone is fucking toxic, that that, you know, that that um, that men shouldn't have that. It's debatable. Hey, it's debatable. I mean, there's this new I don't know if you guys heard about this new uh, birth control pill. That's like 99 percent for the for male. That that's coming out. They're they're doing like these trials. Not the one that we we heard about fucking a year or two ago, where people were like, "Fuck that!" Too many side effects. This is a new one that's already, basically, it's starting to get to the stage where they're doing trials, and then it's gonna be approved. Mm -hmm. 
how do you guys feel about that way? Like birth control for males? Um, I, I didn't read up. I know that the someone uh, sent it. Someone sent it to us. I didn't read up on it. But what is it? Is it a pill? Is it a shot? It's, is it's, it's a, a pill. pill. No. It's a pill. Yeah. yeah. Shit. I, I don't mean, do one that way. Yeah. I mean, fuck it. I mean, I more responsible that way. You know, fucking. You do your part, I mean. I gotta. <laughs> uh, it's just, I mean, lowering the guy's testosterone weight. But uh, is that what it's doing? That's, that's what it does? the side effect. But that's oh. what women shit on us. Like, oh, you guys don't want your oh. hormones fucked up. And and, and when you but, start having these debates, you gotta really think uh, a guy with low testosterone and depression, is that really what we want in society, way? But I mean, that, that that's, really, that's what women already go through, way. Like, when we expect them yeah, to take the women, pill. Yeah, women, but women aren't aggressive. They're, they're, not, they're not gonna kill somebody. They're, they're not gonna fucking affect society as a depressed fucking man that doesn't get shit where there's there's a difference in society where you talk about the military how it's it's mostly men that's because men are disposable in society way we our lives are like we're, we're men dude well, we're, we're indisposable if we fucking if if 200 guys are killed in our in iraq those headlines don't read as 200 women killed in iraq that's a more because that, that, guys are it, it, that's a viewpoint i guess yeah. guys are dispensable way but you know no, I, mean? I, I, you, I wouldn't you, say they're dispensable because who, who dies at work? Way. But who dies at work? Uh, mostly us that do but, trade. But, but it, part of it is, is the, the same thing, the masculinity. Yo soy hombre. Yo voy a hacer esto. Who, who, I'm going to do uh, this for mo- my country. Mostly I'm a man. Men, mostly, so, men, mostly men die of suicide. Mm-hmm. Mostly on the job work is men. Mostly people that get murdered is men. We're indispensable. Work. Yeah, but the, those are like like you're saying, like the military or, or a job. I see what you're saying. We're going to die. Those are a lot of things, too, where like if a, if a, women, a woman came in or there's a... There's all kinds of beef. Oh, you can't do this. You can't fucking. They get a lot of shit. Even where we worked, when when um, you'd get a female come in there, get everybody's oh no va a durar, no va a durar, no va a durar. instantly, instantly. Mm-hmm. If she did or she didn't, I mean that that that's a whole other like you say you can debate, debate all that shit. But those are things that I mean que, que we're like no, well you can't do this because. We are we're the men. We're gonna do this. I mean, we're talking so about different things. Right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, saying that guys. guys I'm, are, I'm saying I'm talking back to to disposable thing. So yeah. it's a viewpoint because if you view it from an ad, another angle, are you disposable if if you're volunteering and you're shutting other people out, saying that you're the only ones that can do this? I mean, as a society, men are disposable. Right? They don't give a shit about our lives. Way right? we fucking for for we work for our families. We some of us fucking are responsible enough to fucking sacrifice everything to start a business sacrifice everything for family uh, sometimes guys get fucked in the court system which everybody oh, for sure. everybody agrees that that's because we're in this we're dispensable way we're guys who gives a shit if we die but working who gives a shit if we die working providing for our family who gives a shit if we die in war it, it's 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 a it's a fact that exists in society where guys are okay but guys are just uh fucking somebody that generates fucking money my I mean, that, that, like I said, that's a, that's a viewpoint. But if you think about it, who who put us in that position? I mean, who put us? Tell me. We did ourselves. Everything. It's always been a male-driven society. The the we put ourselves in these positions, and now, like you're saying, the, the, there's a new viewpoint. Like you're saying now that okay, we're disposable and okay, that we don't tenemos menos valor. I mean, that's all. It's not a new viewpoint. That's always been the, the shit. Who, who, well, who because we died? put ourselves in this in this pedestal that said we could only do this. We're gonna take care of the family. We open doors. We do this. Tú quédate en la casa. You do that. You, your role's this. Our role's this. I mean, in the industrial complex, we made the laws, oh, the rules. Yeah. When when shit started, when we were starting to build fucking everything, where who who's gonna build that shit? Where who's gonna say? But I'm yeah, saying we took it upon ourselves. I know who it. else is gonna do it. Like who's gonna build the bridges? We who, didn't give that option. Is what I'm saying. I mean, come on, dude. Like I get what you're doing, way, but come on, bro. Like let's be honest with this conversation. I I, I am being honest. We guys put- guys are who else is gonna do it? Where guys are in disp- guys are dispensable. Where they don't in society, our lives aren't valued the same way women's lives are valued. And I'm not saying that I have an issue mm-hmm. with that. I'm just pointing out the facts. Where that's what the society is. I'm saying it's a viewpoint, not a fact. So more women die from suicide. I'm not saying mine's a fact either. I'm saying mine's a viewpoint. No, Yours but but how is that? A statistics say that guys die more in the job suicide. Yes, yes. How is that a viewpoint? Because I'm I'm saying that you, the viewpoint is that that we're disposable. Please. No, the viewpoint is the stats. Wait, tell me what how. No, no, stats are stats. That's not a viewpoint. If you're talking okay, stats, that's what I'm saying. More guys yeah, die from yeah, yeah. suicide. I'm not arguing those stats. That's exactly what I'm saying, though, dude. I'm not making shit up. I'm but saying who, more. Who, you you can't say I'm disposable when I put myself in that situation. That I want to provide for my family. I need to get a job. Fixing yeah, fucking but you don't. You don't only. You didn't only do that. You didn't only say, "Oh fuck, I need to get a job too." You said, "I mean, well, 
not you, but I'm saying like society over the long term, a male said, I'm going to provide for the family. You stay home. And then this, like I, I made this role for myself. And now that estamos más, now we're in the current, now, now a viewpoint starts emerging. Okay. Oh, now I'm disposable when I've been taking care of the family this whole time. And I've been doing my male role, but we define that male role. We said, you stay home. I'm going to go provide for the family. We said, I'm going to do this construction job. You can't do this. Like, we set up the rules, the standards, and then now you can't turn around and chillar, que well, now we're disposable because we die more in the role we chose to do. No, no I'm not chillando, eh? No, I'm no, just, I'm saying I'm just, that. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not just, saying you, I'm just, just generalizing, my bad. I'm just pointing the fact that men are depressed, way. Eh? This this is where the angle that I'm coming in at. Okay, Society tell, tell, tells us that we shouldn't give a fuck if we get circumcised. Like, we shouldn't give a fuck if, like, we get fucked in the fucking uh, court system. All I'm saying, and I'm not taking anything from the ladies, right? I'm not saying that fucking, that, that I agree with this perspective. All that I'm saying, way is that the reason there's fucking, well, I shouldn't say the reason, way, but I'm pointing out the fact that there's a lot of depression within men, way. There's a lot of men that don't feel that, that we're, we're being heard, that we need to shut the fuck up and deal with it. There's, there's a lot of things that we go through. There's a lot of shit that, that happens in, in the court system that we get fucked on. Yeah. All I'm saying is I'm shining a light and I'm saying that that, that that's, not, that's not cool for guys to feel like we need to fucking push it inside. And now they want us to lower our fucking testosterone way. That's, it's just... But so, so why was it cool for the other side then? It's not cool. It's not cool. So no one should do the the the, the birth the, control. The birth control. I mean, it, it, the fact if if like you talk about like personal fucking like in my relationship, I don't want my chick to be on birth control, but she wants to be on it. Okay. So society says that it does that one. And so, so it's not. So why why would why do you think there was a a female birth control pill and it took this long to get a male one? Well, the female birth control was was to fucking control the birth rate on on minority populations. That's what the initials are. But, but I'm saying even if even if that's the case, why wouldn't why wouldn't you attack the male side first? The right? the, for, the birth control for female is a fucking fraud. Way it it it's meant to control populations in minority. Yeah, I, it was it was the marketing was great and everybody fell for it, but it's an evil fucking thing that was implemented in our society. Way. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go with that. But I'm saying, why why wouldn't you either do both, or why would you only target the female if you're doing that? So if you're gonna control, even if it's control population or whatever, we say it was the 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 theory behind it and why it happened. Why do you only target the female? Why do I target? No, the I'm female? saying why did they only target a female? I mean, because. Why wouldn't they? Ta- why would? Why would? How would they target I mean, both males? Wait, how that's would- what I'm saying. Why? Why would they put the science behind targeting the female and not both or not the male? Because if you think about, okay, one a female can be pregnant one at a time. A male can impregnate multiple women at once. Would it not make more sense to to neutralize the male? At what cost? At what cost? At, well, at, no, at, it, they both have cost, obviously. You're, yeah, but the, the yep. impact the impact of a man being depressed and having a fucking... The, the sh- women go through the same thing. That's I know, what I'm saying. Bro, I'm, but, I'm discounting but, all but, that. But the, the societal impact of a man is... is Men commit more murders, way. Men commit more fucking crimes. So the impact of fucking up hormones is is is... is you have to see what the benefits are and what the cons are as starting to fuck with guys' fucking hormones. I'm not saying that fucking okay. with women hormones is not... It's not good. I, I don't. I'm not agree. I don't agree with birth control. Way by the way, before we fucking still continue this. No. Yeah. Yeah. We got that. I'm, I'm not agreeing that that's safe. Way. All I'm saying is, hey guys, chill a little bit. Like it's great. Fucking let's let's take a birth control. But what's the bigger picture way? Like what's the impact on society for a guy to have his hormones all fucked up way? It's for me when I see it on paper and when I'm looking at it from afar, it's not good for society to fuck with guys' hormones way. And I'm not saying it's good for women. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, okay. I'm not for that. But for me, if I see it on paper, I don't I don't think it's safe to fucking start fucking with dudes' hormones, where I don't think it's safe, where as a society. That's all that I'm yeah. saying, where I'm not saying that fucking the guys are better right. than women. I, uh, before fucking somebody <laughs> takes this conversation, because strongly it, worded letters to steps. Yeah, because this usually fucking goes somewhere else. I'm not saying fucking I agree. I'm not saying I'm just saying where that. I don't know if the benefits fucking outweigh the cons, way. I don't know. But I mean, tampoco no one's forcing you to take the pill. Just like no one, well, I mean, I guess it's debatable. I'm not a woman. But I'll did that. Oh, hold on. I'm going to take a little pause. pause one. All 
All right, so, ¿qué decíamos, güey? Ya se me olvidó el desmadre. Decíamos oh, que... The, 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 I was going to say fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-fertilizer? No, it's just... I mean, wait, I know, I know this, this conversation might sound one-sided way, but I'm not, I'm not for shitting on women, wey. I don't, I, don't, I don't agree with a lot of the social norms. Um, I'm, just, I'm just, as a guy, I, I have that perspective, wey. I realize that... Guys go through shit way that society doesn't really give a shit about way, and that's that's who, that's who I'm talking to way with this conversation. This conversation is not meant for the women. It's not meant to trigger them. This conversation is for the dude that fucking feels like he's not valued. Like fucking life sucks. Like he doesn't have direction. There's a lot of guys like that way, and and that that was the point of me bringing that up, is to shine a light on fucking on on guys that are going through shit and and have to do it by themselves way because. It's not fair way, but I just have to really fucking dance around the lines to not make it seem like I'm shitting on women way. And it's a really hard fucking line to cross, but it's conversations that I think we have to have way, especially as, as, as fucking Latino man way, because when the whole feminist movement took off way, I realized that a lot of Latinas in, in our, in our society were shitting on us, treating us like we were white Asian males. Cause The top of the hierarchy is Asian males. They're the ones that make more money. And I'm sitting here looking like, wait, 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 wait. Why Asian you, males or white? Asian males oh. are the top. Okay. But but society, uh, the, the books say white dudes, but it's really Asian males. But who's going to shit on the minority group? Mm -hmm. um, so when the feminist movement came out a few years ago and I saw Latinas around us were like talking shit about me and that I'm privileged. I, I mean, I get what you're saying, but like, wait, 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 wait. I, I've been through a lot of shit, way. I, if anything, in the hierarchy of society, we make less than white women, way. So, to fucking put us in the category where we're, we're fucking privileged and entitled, I felt that it was a disservice to our community, way, because what that, what that, what I saw that it did to our community is told guys, hey, shut the fuck up. Whatever you go through, who gives a shit? Because we have this feminist movement, and Latinas and women all over the world are going through shit so you shut the fuck up and not and deal with your shit you don't mean shit you make more money and that's that's where i saw the fucking they you read the fucking literature where i mean there's a decline in fucking mental mental states and shit like that is it's not it's not healthy to shit on anybody but it's not healthy to shit on guys where it make us feel like what we go through is fucking but part of it, but, but part of it, I mean, it's like it's a cultural thing if you think about it in our end. Because okay, if 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 a Latino male is going through depression, is going through mental mental issues or mental or mental health or lo que sea, a lot there's a lot of resources there to get help. But a lot of it we don't do it because of pride, ego, or qué dirá la gente, you know. Um, yeah, and, 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 and arguably some of it can, can be argued that it's the condition that we have to shut the fuck up, way. Yeah. I mean, that could that, be an argument. I'm not saying that that's it. That's, uh, that's the way we were raised. I, 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 an exact, I mean, me personally, I don't know how you guys were raised, but if you're telling me that that's how you were raised, then we're probably the same. I was, I was fucking designed and conditioned to shut the fuck up and go with life. Man up, boy. And I got to the point where I'm like, oh, this is too much, dude. I can't, I can't be a fucking man the way society wants me to be a fucking man. I have feelings. I have, I have things that happen in my childhood that society's telling me shut the fuck up. Uh, 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 it's not fair. Like, how? Why is this fucking? That's how I felt, way. Hey, wait, but we've said it before, and and the podcast and outside the world, you know. Okay, hey, man, what happened to the man in the world? You know, like nobody wants to get their hands dirty, dirty. Nobody wants to do manual labor. Nobody wants to do that. We we find ourselves, yeah, uh, you know, we catch ourselves, or we say we find ourselves saying that to participate in that in that kind of not rhetoric, but commentary or or thinking. You know, or like, hey, what happened to all the men in the world? You know, like, well, what's with this new generation? Can nobody wants to get their hands dirty? Nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to start from the bottom. Nobody wants to put in their time. They just want to, you know. And it's a sentido when we start saying that, um, then we find ourselves also part of that, of that uh, society or that critic. I mean, being a man and not suppressing your emotions, way we just lost it with the history of time. If you read Roman literature, if you read ancient civilizations, way men were vulnerable. Men, men, there's, there's quotes fucking thousands of, hundreds of thousands of years ago, or not hundreds of thousands, but thousands of years ago, where it says, you know, I'd rather be a fucking, what is it? I'd rather be a warrior in a garden than a, than a gardener at war. So we've always had, 
there's a balance, dude. Uh, being a fucking man is not just fucking being macho and being a man is also being vulnerable. Way right? is fucking expressing your your emotion. Society tells you stop being less of a man, but in reality, all they're saying is is get a, get fucking in tune with your feminine fucking energy that we all have. Way right? and it's not being fucking weird or anything. We we both have that. Women have it as well. Um, so well, well so you're referencing to like Roman literature and everything. Now, what about like let's just say we're Mexican? What about Mexican literature, like the shit that we grew up with? Like if you're reading about the Aztecs, if you're reading Tostecas, about yeah. and everything, it was always that male, like male were the hunters, females were like you know, el hombre no no llora, el hombre no 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 no, no se queja, no se queja. It doesn't show signs that que sufre ni nada. Like hey, you fucking you do this because your tribe needs you. You do this because your family needs you. You fucking and you put all that aside and you go forward and it does create there is repercussions to that it, and and it carries on and then like I think you've said it too that a lot of the a lot of uh, the what we are is because it's carried in our genes no yeah we have a lot of trauma that's, that's that, yeah there we go yeah. a lot of trauma that's carried in our genes so that's been going on and you know part of it is like yeah our ancestors did it to us and then we continue doing it but you, you you're saying about labor and building shit i'm talking about being vulnerable and, and expressing yourself no, even the, the in aztecs, that. dude then then we're, you're talking about the wrong things right because the aztecs were really in tune with with the uh, with herbal plants nature nature yeah, yeah, yeah. but they were not, not the in tune with the, with the with their oh, feelings yeah, or but, vulnerability. But, 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 but mentally you're contemplating shit where you're you're fucking uh, it's just, I mean, it, I it, mean, because uh, the Aztecs weren't reading fucking Greek literature, right? Uh, it's, I'm not, I'm not saying the Aztecs were, dude. I'm, I'm saying every every civilization in history, they have their own, they have their 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 own fucking um, relationship with with the with the fucking cosmos and with plants and with all yeah. that shit. They had more in tune with Mother Earth. They had more in tune with the, the celebrating the femininity of womanhood. But that they, they do they did have that, but at the same time, of my understanding, I'm not a liter I'm not I don't have a degree. I'm not a hey, literate in Aztec civilizations. Bro? Yeah, I don't have that. But you know, the stories are handed down, and the myth. Is, well, not myth, but stories and and fucking some sort of events that always show that there was some portrayed and it's even look masculine look at the the, the Aztec warrior carrying the the, the mija um, I forget his name I forget I the name know. and it's a difficult name to say but I knew I know the name I just can't fucking pronounce it you're failing right now I know but that right this there showed, qualifications. That, that does show some vulnerability right that did show some like you know yeah it does it, it does and you know. the story behind it it shows that he really loved her and everything but part of it I mean it's like that if you look at it that's very masculine though the way it shows i mean it shows him he's vulnerable but you don't see him crying you see him like you know con, con orgullo, not con orgullo, but like he's being strong bro. he's being strong and that's the though you don't you don't see yeah. him like in a corner crying or you don't see him like in the in a, in a rock or in a tree or whatever like you know llorándole or nada you see him like strong carrying her and taking her up to the highest mountain yeah, and but that, why, why and that would kinda, he be crying where right? she's not crying like that, well, that she's image dead. Yeah. <laughs> I know well yeah yeah but like I mean that's a good point where but <laughs> Touché, sir. but why does he have to be crying to be vulnerable right? well no crying, it's crying, not that it's but not, you don't know you don't just have to cry to be vulnerable I mean that but image. even that shows weakness, though. A, a man crying in our culture, in our society, it shows weakness. It shows that, you know what, it is vieja in ese sentido. You know? Los hombres no lloran. Okay, so what's the point of your argument? Well, the right? whole point of the argument is, and it goes back to Fernie, is like we've done this to oh, yeah. ourselves. You know, like in our society, in our culture or whatever, we within time and it's like you said, generational trauma that's, you know, passed on through through our genes or lo que sea. Sorry. And and yes, the like, you know, our songs have it, our fucking movies have it, our traditions have it. And and it's not until like I, I've noticed it like maybe 10, 20 years now that we're kind of changing that. We're starting to change that. There's still some machismo, but now it's not as glorified as it used to be. You know, now you know now when we see it, we do criticize. Like, it hey, that's this way is fucking. What happened to all the men? Or what happened to all this? Hey, like, fucking in my times, no, I don't see. In my times, fucking, you shut up and te ibas a trabajar, or you shut up and te aguantabas and te callabas and you did what you had to do. And it's things that it's changing. Even I myself sometimes catch myself 
fucking thinking or saying like, hey, what the fuck is this? They don't, they don't fucking, they don't put time or they don't, they're, you know, they're like fucking, they're always sad. If they're sad, okay, now we have this option. Like, you know what? You could go talk to somebody, you know, like if you're depressed, you could go look up, uh, you know, if you have insurance or whatever. And even if you don't, there's services out there that could help you to get over this, to work over this. But then again, because of our culture, ¿para qué vas a ver un pinche loquero? Dame mil dinero. Hey, I'll fucking, I'll fucking tell you what's wrong with you. Yeah, you might be the and, toxic friend. No, no, and I've heard that, and I've heard that. Mm. You know, pinche, ¿para qué están gastando dinero para ir a un pinche terapia, un terapista para salvar su relación o para qué o porque no pueden tener trabajo porque están deprimidos o porque siempre están tristes? ¿Para qué gastan dinero en eso? I mean, so let me get this straight because I'm, maybe I'm just confused by what you're saying. Wait, so you're saying that it's always been like that, so fuck it, just no, do no, it. No, 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 no. There's been change. I'm saying I've started noticing the change, and I notice that sometimes within us we catch ourselves saying this but I mean we do at the same time catch ourselves and say like hey you know what we need to start looking for help we need to start reaching out we need to start asking for 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 us to get better I there, so in my eyes or and even in the conversations that I've seen I've noticed that there's there's change coming it's not going to be overnight I don't know if we're going to get to ever see where we're you know Males fucking go look for help, and they're not afraid, or they're not embarrassed, or they're not ashamed to to be better persons without the fact of losing their testosterone, or not the fact of taking this pill. Where like, if I can put them in a worse position, I, I I don't. I'm sure that we're gonna get there, but I don't know if we are gonna get to see it. Yeah, I mean, what do you tell a dude out there listening to this that's fucking feeling exactly the way we're talking? Like, what do you tell him? Like, you tell that's him feeling like a. That's, I mean, you guys don't feel that society way. You guys, you guys feel like, uh, like you guys don't feel that that impact that the, the I, generations of, of of conditioning to make us think like that. You guys, you guys are. I, I felt that the, the I felt the pressure of, of that like masculinity pressure way, but on, like you're saying that, like that that pressure que, que, que maybe it's getting taken away from me or um, well, what's a good way to put it way. Well, like that, I don't think the similar pressure. Like, I don't think it's the same pressure you're talking about. Is what I'm trying to say, because, I mean, in my point of view, way like when I hear that, that that thing that it's popped up a lot now. That fucking que, they're attacking the male and the, the masculinity to put que, like that type of talk. And I'm, to me, it's like, if if we put ourselves in this position, like I don't understand, like like. like yeah, we can. We should. We should advance, kind of like Ramon saying, kind of evolve, and and kind of climb ourselves and how to think. Be open to therapy. Be open to our emotions and all that way. Yeah, evolve. But it, I don't think it has anything to do with like the women are doing their thing and they're trying to get more equality. Okay, well, do your thing, way. But I don't feel like that's anything against me. I don't feel like I'm being attacked mm. by women, pues, or or by like society in general that they're trying to take something away from me. I mean. Because it obviously, if 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 things are unequal way, and someone someone on the the other side is kind of pulling up on you, you are losing something way. But it's because you already the shit was already unequal, plus. But so if you feel like that's that's an attack on you, well, to me, I don't feel like that's an attack on me. I just feel like that's things balancing out way. And I mean that if I have battles with with other things, then that's me way. If I feel this other way, then yeah, I need to figure out like we're saying i gotta find myself or i gotta go to therapy or i gotta get more in tune with, with whatever's up with me way it's like like we're saying like you so you're saying it's society and okay, the women but no like it's, it's always like well we're always saying it's always about us way look at us ourselves first look at inside me and figure out what why do i feel this way what why do i feel attacked and then this it, it, it always goes back to like well, what we say wait you start with you way so even like that pill way like no one's gonna force you to take the pill way. I like the idea that now, yeah, the the, the the girls, the women have their their pill that they've had forever and for whatever reasons. Now there's a male one. If now there's an option, either the guy can take it, the woman can take it. Everybody has that option way. That in that sense, that's fair way. And if you don't want to take it, don't take it way. That that's all it is to me way. I just I just don't see how like the women's pill was introduced with controversy and then the male pill there's no controversy behind it. You, there I is mean, controversy. We're talking about it right now. 
<laughs> is that not controversy, wait? No, it's not, wait, because you're saying it's. I, I don't. I, I like that there's an option. I'm saying, but I'm saying you're you're arguing. That I know, but not a lot. Of, not a lot of people think like me. The mass oh, majority. Oh, there's people out of you. But oh, not yeah. the mass majority. The mass majority of people eat everything. Well, no way. If it feels if it feels the mass majority, then it it wouldn't be an argument. Wait. I mean, it's not implemented yet, wait. So all we're doing is we're having a conversation about that. You know, I mean, it, it, it's really fucking naive of us to think that the women's pill was introduced for, for fucking um, reasons that were kept from society. And that this male pill is just, ah, oh, this is great, bro. It's a fucking, here, you guys have an option too. That's not how it's fucking this United States works, bro. There's always an underlying thing about an introduction of something that's that's going to fuck with all your shit, way. So that's all that I'm saying, way. I mean, it's... But I'm saying we, we've pushed that pill that fucks with, with the female hormones forever, way. And 60s, I've never, no? I've never heard, I've, I've rarely heard anybody complain about that besides women. I've never heard a guy complain that that their girl has to take the pill and it fucks up her fucking shit. I heard one guy talk about it, Esteban. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe, <laughs> I heard, maybe, I, I, maybe, I, yes. maybe you should be attuned to your fucking relationship and not no, think that no. that these normal that that see that's the problem right there too is that yeah, well. we feel that we're guys we don't fucking give a shit like. You're basically validating my point, which is that you have to care about what your fucking partner's going through, what the women's issues are. To me, it would be a fucking asshole to say you got to get on the fucking pill. Like, why? So I could fucking have unprotected sex. That's that's fucking, that's, that's one of the most fucking ridiculous arguments of, of having your girl be on the pill way. But that that's the that's what's been happening for decades. Wait. Okay, so you're you're saying I'm let's just deal with it. No, I'm okay, saying okay. So then let's talk I'm about change. Let's but not that's the, what I'm saying. That's where you, it you gives guys you are talking more of like conformities where like no, like. No, like no, no, guys, the, but listen okay. to how you guys are sounding. You guys are saying like, eh, it's just the way that I got from your your fucking you guys' response is like, hey, wait, it's just I don't see you guys being like, yeah, there's there's we need to change this. Like, there's none of that coming from you guys' perspective. You guys are all saying, eh, this is what that, I'm getting from that, you guys. That's not what we're saying at all. We. I mean, it's that's been, not what it's, I'm saying. I'm saying you, I appreciate you just, you that just, there's a change that now is an option. At what cost? That's, a change. that's my argument. At what cost do you appreciate that change? I mean, there's already there's already been a cost for them for for decades. Wait, why shouldn't we incur a cost too? I see. That's, why, that's, yeah, that's, that's exactly the, what I'm saying. No, but I'm saying why is there? Why are you okay with one side only having the cost? So you're saying that men take it upon themselves to build this fucking country. So what gender is going to take upon themselves to change fucking humanity and society? Who is going to be women or men or both? It, yeah, I shouldn't have to pick. Is what I'm saying. Why? Why? Why is anybody picking? Because you're saying you're saying like, well, women went through that shit, so let us go through. No, that no, shit. no. I'm not saying there's an no, option. no, no, no. What you're saying is, what you're understanding is that I'm saying, okay, the women already went through it. It's our turn. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying now there's an option. I can take the pill, or my girl can take the pill, and no one has to say, hey, well, there's only a pill for you. We don't want to get pregnant, right? So you got to take it. Now there's an option. You can have that conversation if you want, or you could just take the pill, whatever way. But now there's an option. There's no transfer from one to the other. It, there's just now an option that was did not exist before. That is a change. So That's it's, not a good a thing. it's a good thing for you. It's just, it, 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 it's the opposite of status quo, way. No, but it's a good thing for you. You're yeah, saying, options are good. Yeah, and that's exactly why we're debating, way, because um, who's... Okay, let's talk about this, way. Okay. Who's going to change if men took it upon themselves to build fucking... If we're, if we're generalizing genders like that, men took it upon themselves to build fucking shit... Who, what gender is going to change society? Way is is it because my belief in is that sense? What sense? in everything and everything that we're debating and you're saying it's yeah, it's always been like that. Where now we have a change. Like what gender is going to change the way society is structured right now? Because we seem to think it's always a male and female perspective. And in my opinion, the things that are going to change society is is us uh, of believing that both of both genders or uh, whatever gender fucking exists. And in this topic, we're, yeah. we're we're very traditional with genders, and and I understand that there's there's you know it gets a little like I'm talking about male and female at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, we have to come together to to have change in the world way. This whole separation of you guys and you guys, that's not going to change shit way. That's not going to change the way society's structured. That all I'm saying is somehow we have to come together way. Somehow it can't be males or females. It can't be they do that and we do that. There has to be this unity between both way, and and I don't know if I'm gonna ever see that in my life lifetime way. I don't know if that's ever gonna be the case where it's not really their issue and our issue. It's more like as a society, we need to come together to figure out how are we gonna change this way. Because if we constantly keep saying like, eh, wait, that's just the way it is, like nothing's gonna change. Way. 
No, dude, that that that's what we're saying. <laughs> I don't understand. Not really, wait. That's but, exactly but what. There's, there's, so how there's, there's how some... are you gonna have how are you gonna have that conversation of coming together like that if if the other side always feels that shit isn't fair? Well, you, you, you're saying you're saying that. Well, the the conversation. The, the, by the way, the, we were talking about the pill for males, right? Yeah. Like this is a this is a male fucking. Uh, this is targeted to the male perspective, but. Um, the way that you phrased it is like uh, what I got from that is basically like, dude, why are you complaining? Where they they went through their shit, and 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 everybody accepted it. So why are you complaining about a male? And which is a valid, it's it's a valid uh, discussion. Where and I understand why you're saying yeah. that. All I'm saying is then how are we gonna have change where when it's just they went through it? So like how is there gonna be changes? But that, that, but that but that's what I'm saying. The problem is. You're, you're taking it as we're going, okay, you took the pill, you went through your shit. I mean, so now it's my turn. But that's not, a, again, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying they went through all that shit and apparently no one had a problem with it until now. Like, there, there's no reason. What do you this mean? Pill, there was, pro, what do you mean they had a problem? With they, the, but there was protests on their end. I know, but the implementation. But there wasn't, I'm saying they, this this breakthrough, I'm pretty sure could have happened at the same time way. When they when they came up with the way to suppress right. the women one, they could have they could have achieved the same thing you're talking about of population control by doing both pills. Yeah, I I, I that's want. That's what I'm saying. I'm, but I'm they gonna, didn't I'm because I agree with that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but yeah. they didn't because we we live in a male driven society, which we said, well, why us when we can we can make theirs? <clears throat> and then the, so now it's not that oh we're gonna take over the burden. <laughs> it's now there's an option to share the burden. And then this, and as as things like this happen, and kind of like Ramon says, as ourselves, we start figuring out the the toxicity. Not 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 that all masculinity is to- toxic, way, but there's elements that are toxic. When we start figuring that out and start working on that, then those conversations you're talking about to work together become much easier. Way. So then, as they work out their stuff, we work out our stuff, and hopefully we meet in the middle and have those conversations. But when everybody feels that there's injustice against this, you guys do us to this, and we feel that you're taking this away from us, all that just does, like the, what you're saying with the Trump thing, it just brings the two sides apart. So the, the more equal you start making things, even if it's just like like a mentally or visually, like you just make it seem a little bit more balanced, the closer you get to those conversations with. So you, you can't get to those conversations if everybody feels like... Um, like un, like um, what I'm looking for. yeah, well, attacked or like fucking like it's just not, not on their side, but like it doesn't benefit them. Yeah, I mean, because I mean we're talking about the same thing, getting to that point where everybody talks, no, and everybody gets on the same page, and we move society forward. Yeah, I mean it's uh, the people that I'm speaking to are, are the the guys that feel like that because I got shitted on by the feminist movement. Because I'm privileged, I'm a male. Yeah. When I'm thinking like, wait, why, dude? What the fuck? I've been, I mean, there's things that that have happened to me that females have done that if I say it, I'm, I'm just being a little fucking bitch. The way society, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh definitely, the, the way yeah, society. Yeah. But but that's no one's arguing that but, way. But but I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to sound like I'm fucking complaining about it. But psychologically, it does something to your way. It does something. Even even not being, um, even having that insecurities of like being circumcised and all that shit. There's a lot of things that we go through silently on ourselves. So all I'm saying is, hey, dude, I felt the same way. Like, if you're feeling like this, there's hope. Like, I'm not saying that that fucking you can't find it. I've already done the fucking work, by the way. I'm not fucking, I'm not there saying like, oh, I, I need to figure this out. I figured it out already. I'm just saying that. And you're still figuring it out as you're going along. You're going to figure it out for the rest yeah. of your fucking life, dude. You're, mm-hmm. you're, uh, you're, but a you're on the progress. path. You know, you, you already know what. What you figured out and what needs to be figured. It, it has to be from... <laughs> it, 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 yeah. it has to be from within. It, it has yeah. to be from within. Like, if you want your society to accept you, they're not going to accept you. You have to accept yourself. It comes from within. And then society as a whole changes. Um, so I don't want it to sound also with this rant that I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck. Uh, I don't value myself as a man. I already figured all that shit out. It's just there's a lot of guys out there that I know are fucking... No, but you know what? You brought up a point that uh, when growing up, it didn't even matter, but the whole circumcision thing, yeah, that was, you know, you do get, you know, um, I don't know. It was... Would it be criticized or judged or what is it like? I mean, it's it's even like the conditioning that we have as 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 fucking men. That I know women don't want to hear this, but 
the conditioning that we have is we feel uncomfortable even fucking bitching and complaining about yeah. that shit. Like, yeah, and I, and I remember at some point, like, what, what the fuck? What's wrong? Like, it's, it's a chili. I know, <laughs> way, but, but, so, but society. So at some point, yeah, and, and when you said that, it like it it took me back to or like it took me to a certain memory or a certain conversation where like I felt fucking like whoa what the fuck I mean it kept me from having sex yeah. right all those insecurities as a teen yeah, like, there we go insecurities just, yeah it's, it does. Just, uh, it's just fucking yeah, but it's one of those yeah but as we start getting older you're like fuck that dude so, so that's what I'm saying right? yeah. so what changed was from within not yeah. society and yeah. that's that's maybe if we're gonna agree on something is is that's that's the big picture is that if you want change it's gonna happen from within i don't care if you're a lady yeah. if you're a fucking dude whatever you are green red whatever the fuck color you are change happens from within way exactly. i mean that's that's basically to i don't know if you guys agree with this fernando that's all saying, but, yeah, but i'm trying to bring yourself. i'm trying to bring everything into like a, as <laughs> yeah. a, an umbrella way coming ground coming yeah ground. if we're gonna get something out of this conversation is that and I hope you guys are open minded about it. I don't mean to offend people and or, or sound like I'm fucking it's shitting on women steps. because I'm not way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, that's not my intention. <laughs> but if anything, you, we can agree that change happens from within. Way. No, oh, yeah. Well, that, that that's what I'm saying. Well, we say we start with yourself, way, and then work outwards. Well, we ever see the change? Who knows? I know that I've started seeing some change. It's, I know that. Been, you know, well, I mean, you've been changing yourself. So yeah. like, that's what he's saying. Like, when to you start know, changing yourself, so I, you I, see I, things I differently. Know. At some point, you know, it's just uh, maybe getting it. Because I'm not like, I figured I'm what, 45 right now? And I started, you know, making some changes a years back and everything. And, you know, it starts catching up. You're like, <laughs> oh, fuck. But if I would have started sooner or earlier or, or would have noticed it, or if, even if, uh, if I had a podcast like this where, like, you know, you're hearing this, like, oh, shit, we're, what are they talking about? It might have sparked something. I'm like, oh, man, maybe maybe I'm thinking about, maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. You know, maybe, maybe I should start changing the way I think or maybe the, the way I see things, you know. And that sparks something in somebody, you know. So maybe this conversation will maybe intrigue somebody or spark something in someone and be like, oh, maybe I might look into this more. I mean, you, you, you people listening to this could probably share a bed with somebody that they, they really don't have that communication to even realize what they're going through. Mm -hmm. I mean. Once you start talking to, to your partners, uh, the women or the men around you, then you, you'll you be really surprised as the shit that women go through that I've I've gotten my girlfriend to tell me just because I've, I've built that rapport with her for her to be really vulnerable with me, which I, I want to say she appreciates. Mm -hmm. But she's told me things that if I didn't have a communication with her, I would not even realize that that's what women go through. Eh? You know, it's important to talk to your fucking partner, dude, because you're, you're going to realize that. Man, we have to do it together, bro. Like, you come to the conclusion that we're in this together, man. Like, mm -hmm. respect each other, dude. Don't, don't, uh, I don't like to shit on women, way, even though maybe sometimes it sounds like I do it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm done with this conversation, way. <laughs> No, bro. We need to continue. Sorry, bro. No, no, you don't no, just no. get to say I that. Mean, we still got like 15 minutes. I mean, go ahead, bro. Yeah, the floor's yours, bro. The floor's right yours, away. man. Right no way. Shutting down a conversation. No, go ahead. Bro. Nah, just fucking around with you. Well, yeah. Nah, nah. But, I mean, we, yeah. we, did our, we did our thing. Everybody took their turn. I think we're good. So, get my way. Liven it up. Liven it up. Do your thing, Ramon. Hey, did we talk about the the show Arena on the air or do we, was this on the outside? It was outside. It was outside. Uh -huh. Outside. I Great. Oh, so if anybody's seen that video del del policía que que dice que fucking esto no es coca es harina que <laughs> voy a llevarlo para echar unos virus. Nel. Nel. <laughs> no es quiero bailar un pinche cumbión bien loco. <laughs> well, that 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 little clip uh, resulted in a in a fucking Eight episode or ten or ten episode series on on uh, Amazon Prime. Se llama Arena. Oh my God, dude. it's it's tan español esta madre. It's all in Spanish. It's tan in el DF. Pero pinche show está bien cagado, man. It's fucking funny as hell. And they and they lead off based on that video. It leads off into the series, you know. So it's a pretty good one. I don't know if you guys have caught it or not, but if you do, check it out, man. That shit's fucking hilarious. Or at the very least, have Ramon show you the the YouTube fucking original Cl clip. <laughs> I, I hadn't seen that shit. I'm I'm probably one. One of the only ones. It has yeah. a chingo of millions of views, no? Yeah, well, también Esteban didn't see it. Uh, hadn't seen it. But, uh, yeah, I was trying to look for... What's it called? Because I was trying to look for it the other day and I you can't You can just remember. put harina and it comes uh, no, up too. Well, no, dude, I don't know what it was. Pinche cumbión bien loco. 
O nomás por cumbión bien, cumbión bien loco. No, Arina gave me a fucking headline that the uh, Maseka no, or fucking. some of those fucking <laughs> start doing business in Russia. Oh, shit. That no, they're, upset, they're upset at Guerrero and all these fucking the tortillas and the masa companies. No, but you go like to YouTube way and then you put fucking... They're upset because you know how they, they said, fuck Russia, we're not doing shit, but yeah. they're still selling tortillas in Teniente Russia. Teniente Arina, maybe. Oh, maybe Teniente. I just put Arina. That's how I found it, the fucking, the little... The little clip. But there's a lot of them that, that like, they do like little fucking... Yeah, like Arina. And it's a fucking one right under the ad way. Yeah. So, fucking, it's touching on. It's a little clip. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's about three or four minutes. You know, it's a coke. It's a raid. Yeah, it's four minutes and 26 seconds. Yeah, it's a raid. And the fucking pinche teniente bien, bien, um, bien, bien corrupto al cabrón, you know? It's like typical. Que it, it, yeah, it fucking, it grows on you too, bro. Like, it keep, <laughs> it, for some reason, it keeps coming up, way. Like, I thought it was funny, but I didn't think it was. Like fucking weeks, like the way the way that we went going with it, funny in other words. <laughs> I fucking love it. There's a lot. One of those things that just grows. It just me. grows on you, and you're laughing, and you start thinking of little fucking scenes or like little moments. I'm like, fuck, that's fucking cool, you know? Conoce, conoce ese amigo de, de, del escritor, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, well, I mean, the, I'm talking about the little video with the short little clip with yeah. like, <laughs> like when you showed it to me, it was funny way. Like yeah. you know, it was funny, but I didn't think fucking we're still gonna be talking about that little clip for fucking like three weeks later or whatever. <laughs> you know, like I didn't I didn't realize it was that level of funny until Yeah, and it was by accident. Only that I time found will it. tell funny way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's uh but I think the back door it's like uh hey, through wait, Comedy Central. I think it is Comedy Central. I think the show is a Comedy Central thing too, but on, yeah. the, on the apps it comes out on Amazon. Right? Yeah, so fucking if you guys have dude, that shit's fucking hilarious. They're like 30, 40 minutes long, no? They're like 30 minutes, yeah. Man. Yeah, 30 minutes long. It's funny. Ya que te mandan el cheque, güey. Hey, I just want to promote it. It's, he wants it's, a cameo. No, no, no. no. <laughs> There's no motos, güey, so he's not. No, here. but you know what? One thing I do appreciate about the show is that they, they, they point out the things that siempre me cagan a mí, like when like, you know, um, como es, no se dice así, se dice así, es en español, no es en inglés y que la chingada, you know, like one of them is like, si sí, a este individuo le dieron con un taser, taser, que este, se dice taser, you know, <laughs> en español se dice taser, nada que taser, you know, o hablaba en español Rod Ramírez, o que la chingada, <laughs> you know, so it's little things that I'm all like, oh dude, that's, that's. But That's they, they use a lot of those fucking when's Ramon doesn't like with yeah English, the, right? those uh, those influencers oh yeah or yeah. like oh like no the like, I'm surprised oh. Ramon wasn't triggered bro uh, I saw it I mean I don't get triggered as much as I did before now I'm like it okay I get mind, it bro. I get it I get it this guy's been doing deep work <laughs> <laughs> and there's still more to do but yeah gonna you know there's another big guy in there that fucking has a party and he does a lot of that talk. You know, yeah, he does a lot of that talk and like, okay, que le I'm like, ah, well, all right, fuck it. I, 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 I gotta accept the fact that así es como se habla, así es como se. It's not just Spanish though. Right? If you see people talking uh, like fucking other languages, where right? there's a lot of that, like fucking um, words that don't just don't translate. Where right? yeah, and and it's a big influence. It's it's just one of those things where you realize that you know um, the west, the what is it, the western influence. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's big. Like Mexico's in the West, I guess, but also, yeah. but I guess the North American. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I know, but yeah, that's what you say. Mm -hmm. Western influence, you know. But yeah, if you guys uh, have a chance, check it out. I know that a lot of listeners fucking put in our you... promo code so that we get <laughs> <laughs> when you rate it <laughs> or you. Put the little thumbs up. See if it gives you. I don't think it gives you an option to put in. Just put, hey, Chicano Shuffle recommended. <laughs> you know? Fuck it, fuck it. el chequecito. Fuck, wait. We're hurting that bad, huh, bro? We'll <laughs> <laughs> take anything right now. I know. Jesus Christ. Hablando de taking anything. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dime. Dime, Tarente. No, it hasn't gotten <laughs> that, that, that hard times yet. Damn, bro. I thought, I thought fucking South Central was getting crazy, bro. No, 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 no. I Walk think in the streets now. No, what's getting crazy is they're están balaseando los pendejos. Gas prices too, bro. People are accepting them. Or what? I was in Disneyland where it's fucking 450 bucks for a day for two people. I was like, Jesus Christ, this is expensive. And that's just the tickets, right? That's just the fucking tickets, bro, to the, to the park hopper, I guess they call it. <laughs> so you're going, Esteban, un funnel cake. You're like, Niche. Nah, let me check Nel. my balance. Hay churros en la casa. You know, you have to, I have to lower my mask so so my bank could fucking see my eyes to log into my shit with. So <laughs> I was doing this all the time, lowering my mask, putting my fucking... 
No, I wasn't wearing a mask. But um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but uh, but yeah, shit's expensive, bro. And and I couldn't help but saying, "Look, no, you're afraid of covering this fucking pack right here." I know. Jesus, no, Christ. Disney's, Disney's always packed. Though. I mean, my mom was telling me that that Tijuana, obviously, where they're they're getting a lot of traffic from people that San Diego to put gas in Tijuana, way. They just, they just Bemex. drive. They just drive across the Wait, border. But they're sitting like two hours. I know, the way, but sometimes like, the logistics doesn't make sense. But in your head, you're paying cheaper. Fuck yeah! So you guys like, with a quarter tank after your full tank. Ahorita, right? ahorita el pinche Pemex <laughs> like, hey, está subiendo el pinche. Estamos sacando feria en el en, en el petróleo. Está cabrón, güey. Está cabrón. Yeah. That's weird, güey. Hey, yeah, it doesn't make sense unless you have fucking Sentry, and even that sometimes gets fucking. See, I have an issue with the way that the the states kind of structured, or just the country as a whole, way because you know they're talking about giving people a, a allowance for the gas, right? You guys heard about this, no? Yeah. I was hearing something just about it. Yeah, California. The, yeah. So when when they gave the Corona relief, way when people started getting fucking money for that. I was some t- I was listening to these clubhouse rooms on big, the Bitcoin clubhouse rooms, and mm. there's people in there that, I mean, I don't know. I'm taking what they say away that they're worth a shit ton of money, and even they got a fucking. The guy was laughing like, I got a ten thousand dollar fucking check from the government. Why would he give me? I'm just gonna fucking buy Bitcoin with it. And then when this whole fucking uh, four hundred dollar um, or five hundred whatever it was, I can't remember way the stimulus, the, the little stimulus for for gas. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm thinking like why are, why are like the rich getting this? Like you're basically the the way that the city is structured, everybody that that has a registration for fucking uh, for your car is gonna get this. Why why is like the rich getting fucking a gas fuck like? Wouldn't you think that you would have it tailored better to the people that actually fucking need the help? And then if you take the money from the people that don't need the help, you give these people more fucking money than the fucking four hundred dollars. Like what is it? Why does everybody get that shit way? I, I don't know how that one's structured way, the, the gas e- one. Everybody's going to get it as, as long as you have a registration, no matter how much money. Well, you not everybody, because you have to have a car registration. You see, yes, Pobrota taking the bus, you're not getting shit. No, that's what I was getting yeah. to, way. Like, if, if you make fucking 150 grand, whatever, everybody gets it. And I, I don't think that that's right, way. What do you guys feel? Do you get it per car or do you just get it because you got... You know, the one household that uh, like I think it's per car. I yeah, could be I wrong, but yeah, my, my, my point for the for the criticism is why why are people that don't need it? Why are they getting money? Well, the the first checkasito like that dude didn't um, unless he he did one of those uh, programs. Long. He didn't get the he didn't get ten thousand way because the, the the first I don't remember if it was the first or the first two. They literally sent it to the other everybody. But ya que empezaron a chela gente like you're saying why are rich people getting the the little checkasitos. They they did a tapered approach, and at a certain point, you didn't get shit. Yeah, but I'm talking about that was just an example, yeah. like the gas thing. Everybody, I don't know. Gas, I hope. Yeah. I, I hope. I don't know. Maybe their talks. I don't think it's finalized, is it? I know, but if it yeah. is, if it is finalized, there's no then, way. Yeah. There, there's they, there should be something in place where that these, tapered, yeah. these people don't fucking help people that don't need well, to be. What helped. would be the cutoff? Like fucking BMWs or no, Tesla? No, no, no. Like, about income, month, income. Or, uh, the fucking. I'm not talking about dude. There's prices fucking. We're getting warehouses that drive fucking expensive cars. Yeah. Right? I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's what I'm it. saying. Not like, oh fuck, you know. They show up with a fucking Cinnabon from Seven Eleven, but they have a nice car. <laughs> Um, so I just wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Esa yeah. Well, that's, that's their lunch, bro. They, they have a nice car, but their lunch is a Cinnabon. That's how they rush into the clocking in with the Cinnabon in their hands. Um, I just, I just don't think that everybody should get that way. I, yeah. I mean, I don't think so either. I mean, they should be definitely by income, and everybody that's registered. Shit. Well, I mean that. I mean, yeah, for sure. You gotta, you gotta taper it off way. That, that's gonna. That's just At irresponsible. Income, just giving it yeah, to everybody. I'm, I'm just saying, if you if you cut off, if you have a cutoff based on how much money you made, yeah. if you have that, then you could give more money to the people that actually really need it. If you take from the people that don't fucking need it, because I mean, but then that means you'd have to be okay with the, that redistribution of wealth type shit, way. I mean, because that's what you're saying. I mean, I, I <laughs> I'm just saying, way like fucking. The the right thing to do is just to help the people that actually need that the help, it, not yes. not give money just to give money to the fuck away yeah. because it's all it's basically tax taxpayers money um, that that they're fucking just giving people fucking a, a credit for gas. I, I just don't feel. Uh, I mean, that's another topic, right? But for the gas thing, I just don't feel that that everybody should get away. Yeah, and I mean, it should. I, I think it should also show that people that are driving 
um, that are within the, you know, like, I guess the cutoff or whatever that are driving because there's people that have car registered, but they're working from home. You know, that's a good point. Too, they're, they're working but, but, from home and they're not really putting mileage or they're not really driving out there. So, you know, they're getting an extra six hundred dollars. Now you're getting a little petty, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying you I, know? I drive in traffic all day. He says <laughs> <laughs> I need two checks. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just like the, it's giving it away. It's giving giving this money away a little. It, it, I get it. It's to help relief and everything. But there's going to be people that are going to be getting it at maybe don't need it and i see that point too you know there's going to be people that are working from home that their cars you know they're not putting mileage they're not putting wear and tear on it they're not using the gas I and mean, they're going to get a check and it's like okay it's helpful and everything but it's not really helping to the people that are going you know that it's meant for the, the people that are driving back and forth or the students or the you know whether it's work how about the contractors you know yeah. The contractors that drive the the big trucks or they drive everything because they're carrying lumber or they're carrying material. Well, they're, not, they're not talking about business way. Like you don't. I mean, but there's people that are, that are self employed that are putting their 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 um like but it comes to two, you're paying for the gas right and you depend on this vehicle and you you know some of it comes out of your pocket because maybe that's the payoff you know you got a company vehicle but you got to put the gas in it. You know, or no sé cómo está la cosa, but there's some but, people. But the thing about tax, like taxes, write-offs, you, you can't write off like receipts. You can write off mileage, right? So that's that's where we, when we do our income tax, it's not let me save all my gas receipts. They, they go by mileage, right? So oh. that, that's how they that's how they gauge if you're doing like um yeah, and like freelance work number, or whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. 1099 kind of shit. Mm-hmm. You can write off um, the mileage, not not what you spend on the gas, which is kind of bullshit when you think about it. Because how how is the how is the city or the they uh, pay the you what, fifty cents a mile or something? It's, it's, it's bullshit. It, yeah, it's kind of like fuck that. But, but does it increase with the increase of gas prices? Like it's just a lot. Fifty cents a mile. Why, why is fifty cents? Why do you think fifty cents a mile is wrong? Way. I don't know. I mean, if I'm if, getting... if you get like twenty miles a gallon, way. I don't know. I mean, I haven't broken number. down the math on that. <laughs> that's, but that's I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, what? I mean, like, 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 like when you're saying like the business, like if you're a business, like this guy driving around, I mean, he, he can get a tax deduction for, for those mileage. Whether the 50 cents is right or wrong, it's the right number or not, you still get some, some kind of deduction. Whereas me, if I'm driving to work, like if I'm driving to Santa Monica every day and putting all those mm-hmm. miles, I can't deduct those things because that's technically not work. Mm-hmm. That's me getting to work. And then this, so he already gets a deduction. So this ah, technically, you, you, like he shouldn't get an extra check, boys, because you 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 could deduct it if, like, let's say you're doing an errand for the business. For, yeah, that's work. Yeah. Not not driving to work. Yeah, but if like you if you're using your car to buy fucking uh, merch or yeah, whatever that, your company needs, then you could write that off. Yeah, um, but th- that's what I'm saying. So so th- they already have a little avenue for, like, not to make. I guess yeah, make up a little bit back. I guess, but not. Because if because no because if, if, like if you're talking about like if it was equal to what you spend then there's just a subsidy no yeah so it, it, it yeah it's not yeah that's kind of ah, subsidies I mean look at what's we happening with, with fucking Amazon where they're getting they're 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 trying to get fucking like twelve billion dollars for their space shit or not Amazon but Jeff Bezos oh but mm-hmm. he's got a chingo of subsidies and he always talks shit about subsidies I mean Tesla that's all they make yeah. they make their money they don't make their money selling fucking cars and shit Tesla makes money from the subsidies that the government gives them just to be a green company and maybe then, we should be a green podcast where it gets yeah. some fucking government money bro we we're using natural power right here solar power to run this instead of your fucking <laughs> wow. to run this podcast in, in, instead of your vision. We, be, we, don't have, we don't have AC. <laughs> hey, bro, you know? instead of your vision of being like in Congress, maybe we should fucking just have subsidies, right? Maybe we should go out. Hey, approach. Library of Congress, bro. Or Library of Congress, sorry. Yeah. Maybe we should fucking just be a green podcast and get government subsidies, right? Yeah, and then yeah. we use solar power. Come We've on, been bro. using it, bro. Fuck yeah. Let's fucking <laughs> been, stand up. We don't even have AC, so that how green, you know, what more, or, or right fucking, po- or like, what is it, like a heater? Tell them, eh? Yeah, we don't use none of this. Like, fuck it, aquí. Tell them, eh? Aquí sufrimos pa' ustedes. Que mas, we? Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Help me bring up my, Sell my it. other voice. Come on, brother Sell Ramon. It. Come on, brother Ramon. <laughs> we use solar power. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Tell them, eh? <laughs> we don't put no more emerging substance on the Mother Earth. 
earth. Tell him, man. Wow. What else, bro? What else? Why does he use his pastor voice? <laughs> yeah, no. This sounds he's what? his brother Ramon. <laughs> wow. Hey, wow. He, he triggered the brother he, Ramon in me. Uh, on cue. Ramon fucking goes on cue, bro. What else, Ramon? <laughs> tell him. We're not voice. asking all this burden on our patrons, on our followers. <laughs> tell him, man. <laughs> we need some government uh, subsidies. Wait, 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 uh, oh, tell him, man. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> tell him, man. I'm out. <laughs> tell him, bro. What else, bro? The, this podcast of the people. It keeps them going. I want to check. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> you got no car. How do you get your money? <laughs> <laughs> you I, got no receipts. How are you going to get paid? I want subsidies. <laughs> Solar is the way to go. <laughs> We're a green podcast. <laughs> <laughs> subsidies for the people. <laughs> Tell them, man. I'll, uh, I'll fucking die on that hill, bro. <laughs> I'll die on that subsidies hill. <laughs> <laughs> we no longer get no no patrons. We got nobody backing us up. It's like you're reading my mind, bro. It's like you know exactly nobody's what I'm thinking. Nobody's buying merch. It finally have somebody that understands. Nobody's how I feel. buying coffee. We need it. Oh shit. Oh, we need the now, government now support. Now we're airing the fucking dirty laundry. Here. No, we're just like nobody's putting in for nothing. Tell him. <laughs> I Tell still him, don't bro. know why his voice changed. <laughs> it's brother Ramon. Oh, bro. You gotta say it's brother Ramon. He yeah, but a little did, rant. Did, did he get a little darker? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, uh, Fuck, I broke out on the sweat. That's what I did. Jesus right Christ, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's the spirit in me. Oh, oh shit. No, wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the spirit is alive and flowing. Oh, shit. Oh, no way. No, my Jesus better. Christ. <laughs> send send your, your strongly worded letters to Ramon. Why people out there say, oh, no. why brother Ramon got a bride? <laughs> Jesus. Why, wow. why he's driving that black truck? <laughs> Jesus, he's gone, bro. He's gone. Hey, hey, just go away. Fuck it. You're already there. Wait, take off. Take off, bro. Keep treading that water, bro. Mind your business. Take off, bro. <laughs> Fuck it. You're already there, bro. Keep going, bro. Don't mind the lodo, way. No pedo. Keep mind. Yeah, who cares, bro? We got, I got your back, way. I've, I've offended more people than you in this episode. I got your back. Esteban's like, yes, take the reins. Do it, bro. <laughs> Ask no questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, wow. just start a petition. I, 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 I think wow. I've, I've seen a few uh, emails or DMs that don't like when you do that, right? So, oh, <laughs> he's oh. like, do it some more. <laughs> <laughs> the heat I'll off die, me. I'll die on that hill. I'll right, die on that. Hill. Right now, they forgot all about a stay on We need, we need government <laughs> subsidies. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Los esquivastos este lado. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck me for thinking. Go, Ramon, do it. Go, my, brother Ramon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my my uh, my talking about dudes is more offensive than your uh, that's, that's your, funny than, than your fucking uh, your tone right now. <laughs> All right, got it. That Check. tone, fuck, bro. Check, bro. I don't know uh, how we got to that tone. That was bro, Ramon, bro. Jesus Christ. I say yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> next uh, week, next week, I'll do episode, something so we can uh, balance it balance out. Balance it all out. This episode is fun, where <laughs> <laughs> good because it might be our last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna get subsidies. We're, we're, are we? we're yeah. down to like four fans right now. We, we could only hold where <laughs> that's where it's at. Where government subsidies. Right? Uh, yeah, you gotta okay. be green way. We're, we're, we're solar. Yeah, Whatever. porque ese güey se pasa chillando about subsidies and that's all you get to it. Yeah, all these fuckers. Fuck yeah, güey. Yeah, Está cabrón, güey. I mean, really, why would we need to give this dude fucking $12 billion or whatever fuck it is to go to space, way? Mm, Isn't that crazy, way? Like, you're worth fucking 150 whatever the fuck. Hey, billion. give us give us 1200 and we'll go to fucking El Paso. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now you're cutting yourself sharp, bro. I know, that's, that's the problem with the raza, <laughs> Hey, send me 400 bucks for my gas, way. Come on. <laughs> dude, we want the billions, bro. <laughs> that is, you know, we're not greedy. This uh, is El Pedo. We're, we're not, not greedy. greedy yeah. we, we live within our means. Yeah. We just need for what? Airfare and hotel. Maybe a meal or two. Are you trying to go to El Paso? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's it, bro. That's how we want, huh? Yeah, we want to go to El Paso and then from there see where... where, <laughs> oh, where, where now there's more. Hold on. Uh, well, then, I mean, <laughs> That's El where Paso, it starts. El Paso is way. a target. El, El Paso nomás es de pasada, güey. This is a world tour. <laughs> yeah, anyway. yeah. Fucking then we'll go to Maine. Right oh, way. And then we'll go to fucking, I don't know, whoa, whoa, whoa. Utah. Listeners in I don't know. I'm just going to the, the, the state. Oh, you want some lobster? <laughs> <laughs> this trip is not well planned. Wait, Ramon's we're on the foodie tour way. We get some lobster in Maine. <laughs> we got to hit Philadelphia. We get some fucking cheesesteaks. What else, bro? Uh, fucking, oh, we could go to fucking 
Um, we could well Texas got barbecue, right? We could do steaks we and barbecue. Texas yeah, way, yeah. yeah. We, we could go on our way back. I mean, you got otra vez. Fuck, anyway. bro. We're on that. We're gonna die in four years tour. Where fucking live it up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who needs eighty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on this world final world tour at fifty. Uh, fuck yeah, bro! You'll be like Chavez, fucking like three or five different fucking last tours. Remember when Chavez was retiring? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the farewell was like six of them. Well, that was a Chenta too, wasn't he? Fucking on the last tour for like Chenta. yeah, I don't share. Wait, after a while, it's like, come on, bro. Uh, <laughs> the pinche yeah. raza loves that movida, eh? No? Yeah, for sure. Oh, no, que es el primero. Esta es la segunda despedida. Vámonos. We've been on our final episode for three years, bro. And this is where we're at. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true, we've, we've been, been, been at, wrapping it up. We've been wrapping it up for three years, man. We're still here, man. Ahí vamos. Yeah, that's funny. Pero bueno, hablando de wrapping it up, let's wrap it up. Ponle la lavanda. ¿Dónde está la banda? There. No, there it's been there since we fucking uh, started talking about uh, men's rights. There we go. Since he checked that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Raza, thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking around this long. You know, um, uh, fucking, like I said, like I say that every uh, end of every podcast, you could uh, support us. You can go to our links on Instagram, you can go to uh, Chicano Shuffle. Click on the links. It'll send you to our Patreon. It'll send you to our <clears throat> merch store. It'll send you to Istasa. It'll send you to uh, Discord. It'll send you to all these little things that we have going on. <clears throat> you know? Oh, shit. We got shit going on. We do have shit going on. Uh, got también, going on, he says. Yeah. También, um, you know, you could uh, follow us on Instagram. I think Facebook. Um, and I think that's it. But even... <laughs> I think the main one is just Instagram. Uh, we also, you know, we have a Latino happy hour. You can follow us there too. Listen to uh, Fernando and myself, plus the, the twins from Pura Cultura and Alfred Robles. That uh, goes down every Friday. <clears throat> Allegedly. Allegedly, I know. The last two have been. Um, I know. I was going to follow that page. Only these guys aren't putting anything up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Instagram's been pretty going with Yeah. So. Uh, no, I'm talking about some, content, man. Yeah, we're getting some, some, you know, some engagement over there. But uh, yeah, Rasa is just uh, time schedules, uh, things that just pop up. So no se pudo. But we're, we're you know we're, we're still going at it. So check that out. Um, what else? What else do we have going? I think that's it, right? And there's stuff, but we can't talk about it. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's uh, there's <laughs> plans. In, there's secrets. plans in the work, you know. So we're really working with that, and we're working with other. Uh, um, what's we'll say? There's a lot to say about nothing right now. Wait, hold on. Uh, you're it's looking at your point. phone for me. You got something? I don't know if we said this one, way. Do, right. do you remember giving just Charlie a shout out? Wayne? No, Charlie? No. Okay, get in there. We have a sh- shout out for Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Namas Charlie? Yeah, no, no last name. So. Oh, all right. He was a new patron, way. Orale. Chingo de gracias, Charlie. Gracias, carnal. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Charlie. Man. Thank you very much. At least it helps us pay, pay the rent. Here and uh, maybe invest in another solar panel. Yeah. Maybe maybe in some sensitivity training. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For someone's black voice. It's a pastor voice. <laughs> All right. It's like... a pastor voice. You know, it could be any type of pastor. It could be a southern pastor. It could be a, you know. It could be a al pastor. <laughs> there you go. It's an al pastor, babe. Yeah, it's a pastor voice. No, no, no. It's no. fine. People, people you keep, accept you. You, you keep telling yourself that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm, I'll die on that hill too, bro. <laughs> you know, first am- first hey, Amendment. First Amendment. We, we should do a fucking rap about the First Amendment. Oh, bro. shit. <laughs> <You're done? laughs> Let's try to rap. <laughs> we'll do a rap on it. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. because the Fifth, Sixth, and Eighth Amendment. <laughs> 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 this, is, this is already covered. We just need the first one now. You know, so Rasa, thank you for, for sticking with us. Thank you for listening, sharing it, and engaging and sending us DMs and you know reposting our our you know when the podcast comes out and it really it really helps us. It really um it gets the word out there. You know, so chingo de gracias on behalf of all of us. All right. You listen. I start. I mean, the YouTube way. Oh yeah. Slow going, pero. 
Yeah, 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 it's slow going, man. You, you get a little discouraged sometimes, but you know. And, and thank you to that compa or whoever it is that's doing the the Chicano Shuffle clips. Oh yeah, if we finally address it. Yeah, <laughs> we're finally addressing it because I've noticed that some people are are like liking it and then everything. But you know what? It's someone that you know. The, the unofficial clips. The unofficial, unofficial clips. Yeah. yeah. You know, no, but someone you know took it upon themselves and. You know, as long as, you know, they're just... Oh, he's going to put his guidelines. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, there's guidelines, right? Yeah, as long as, you know, you know, I just don't want the, the listeners out there to confuse that it's us running it. Mm-hmm. You know, because I don't want to mandar cosas. And if this person replies and it's not within us, and then like... Yeah, that's a good point, right? You know? So just so that the, the, the followers know out there, you know, se agradece el, el detalle y la ayuda. Really appreciate it. But at the same time, just know that it's not us running it. All right? So with that... Again, we love you. And al ratos with that e. So if that page posts offensive uh, content of the podcast, that wasn't us. <laughs> All right? Just <laughs> FYI. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, fucking starts asking you for fucking solicited pics. Yeah, we won't, That's we, not us. <laughs> we won't ask for any pics. Or, <laughs> yeah. okay? don't, don't, don't send me any cash out fucking money. That's not us. Yeah, That's not us, you we know? We never ask for anything. <laughs> Except for patrons. Yeah, and if we do, we and have the links to it, you know? So coffee. if they start saying that they're like, you know, from in Nigeria or that, hey, Nigeria. fucking... Ramon is uh, está en el bote. He needs your support. Que la chingada. <laughs> nah, don't. Oh, is that the line? I don't know. Is that the line? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, we got to be careful with that. He's it's like, like, don't send the money. Is what he's <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, just know that it's not us. If that guy, you know, needs it, whatever, look, I say, hey. Or that person, you know, but just know that it's not, you know, Esteban Fernando or myself. That's just a long way of saying we appreciate you. We appreciate man. you. So, or women, I don't know who it is. Yeah, no, me neither. Uh, we don't know. It's a mystery. Shout out. You know, it's just a listener that I guess heard, um, you know, your request, Esteban. I guess what he was saying is just send us the minutes or the episodes that it was, so that way we could find it and put it up. But you know what? This person what took the extra step. Yeah, we appreciate it. We do. All right. So, next week. All right. What's next week? No, next week. Just we'll be in next week. Ay, no. Como dice mi mamá, si Dios quiere. Ay, vámonos que aquí espantan. Dale, Steps. I don't, I don't think he needs your permission, bro. It's not about permission, bro. It's just pumping them up. I'm pumping up my friend, bro. All right, can you guys be quiet? Because I'm trying to do a fucking outro. Right? That's all that I need from you guys right now. He shut down the conversation again. I'll see you guys later. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, not that one. That's cabron. Ahora sí pegó el café chingón. The fuck? That's, you're out of hand. You're out of hand, Lee. All right, vámonos. Pues. <laughs>